No, first off, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Hey, Brock the Yahweh. 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 Hey, double honors to our apostles and elders, the great Muslim, who taught us well and who we all learned under, all right? And a sincere shalom to you, the elect out there, you know, hey, listening and tuning in. You know, we're out here another week, you know, uh, another Saturday here at the camp. You know, a hey, beautiful day. You know, hey, teaching teaching the word of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Right. So, yeah, let, let's get that uh, in the book of Isaiah. This is Isaiah 42 and 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. Hey, man, you know, hey, we're still we're still slaves here, man. You know, that's the thing. We're not free here until a hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he comes and delivers us, man. That's right. And hey, we were just speaking on it, you know, at the beginning of camp, man. You know, you, you can't be born here without having a social security. You're, you're, you're not, you, you know, you can't just do whatever the hell you want here, man. You know, if you want to drive the streets, man, you got to have a license. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, man, if you want to get paid at your job, man, you know, you got to have, you know, the right papers, direct deposit. If you want to go out of the land, you need a passport. To get a job, you got to have all this certain documents certain documents your your id your social all of that man and th all that is what proves that you're a slave that's what binds you that's what binds you, you man know, that's how these, these these elites have ownership over you mm -hmm. yeah you know it and th at the end of the day man you know it doesn't hey they made it so that everyone's a slave man it's not just you know the children of israel man it's their own people as well man that that's how wicked this devil is man yeah and the all time right? is coming where they're about to brand their slaves yeah the time is coming, you know, hey, get get that right there, man. That's the vision that John the Revelator received, all right, in the island of Patmos, which is going to be fulfilled, all right? You know, all, all these people are going to, hey, all the wicked of, of the people are going to get that, all right? Get that, that, that MOTB, device, yeah. the MOTB. Yeah, because ultimately they want Esau to be their master, their yeah. God. They want to be under this devil because this devil allows them to rule freely and do as they please. Yeah. They don't want to give up on everything, you know, on this side, man. They don't want to give that away. Just like our people, you know, they, they wanted to go back to Egypt, man. Hey, Israel, man, they're a homeborn slave. Yeah, why is he spoiled, right? Yeah. I got a quick one. It's Isaiah, I mean, Jeremiah 15 and 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, they refused to let them go. Hey man, and that happened here, you know, Babylon the Great in America, man. All right, you know, he, he, got, he got our brothers over there in the outskirts of Western Africa. All right, you know, he came to this land and he slaughtered a, of the Northern Kingdom, man. All right, you know, and there was no one, you know, that stood up against that, man. That's why we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So right, just building off your point of that we're still slaves. Yeah. We're still over here in captain. Skip to speak about the, um, the captive exile hastened them to be loose. Yeah. You know? John, it says it also said the children of Israel and Judah were oppressed together. Yeah. You know, there's a whole hidden history of uh, the Northern Kingdom caught hell uh, right here in California, man. Yeah, they did. My bad. Go ahead. Yeah, there were slave ships with, with Northern Kingdom that's in right. there, man. All right. You know, that, that's one of the things that Christopher Columbus did, you know, when he came from this land, man. And he brought uh, uh, Gad and uh, back over there in Spain to be slaves. Yeah. yeah, some say the northern kingdom's slavery was more brutal than the southern kingdom here in America. Mm. They would chop the women's breasts off, you know, they cut the babies out. Yeah, and that's something that's not taught in these schools. It's not. Yeah, it's blotted out of history, man. Yeah, they only teach about the southern kingdom's uh, slavery. And they even they don't water, go in depth with that. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Water, they, water, they water it down, man. And even that, yeah, they water it, they censor it down, man. But when it comes to these small hats, man, every year, man, you know, they, mm -hmm. they, they make it a thing to cry over them. Man. They shove it down your throat. But they, they don't, pay billions of dollars to that, to, that, to that state. Yeah. They don't mention uh, southern, uh, the northern kingdom's slavery because that would mesh the northern and the southern kingdom together, yeah. okay? That would that would put a piece of the puzzle together, God. you know. So they don't mention that, you know. That's very but true. when you look, turn on the news, they always mention it. Well, in the black and the brown community, the minorities. You know, yeah, the minorities, you know, they always mention us together. Yeah. You know? when, they were, when they were pushing the juice, yeah. what do they do? Yeah. Blacks and the browns, you know. Yeah. The first ones to get it, the more acceptable to this virus. So you guys got to go out and get, and get that juice, you know. Right. We're doing you guys a favor, you know. <laughs> 
we're gonna vaccinate you guys first because we know you're poor, you can't afford it. You gotta use cold words, huh? Oh, that's right, so, <laughs> You know? Yeah, yeah, when the jab was out, man, you know, we were the main targets, man. All right, because that, that's who they want to destroy, man. We always that's been why, the main targets. Yeah. Since Even the, the war on drugs was, was mm -hmm. a, another a, another word for a, a war on Jake. Yeah, that three strikes rule, man. Yeah. And it wasn't just Judah, that was all tribes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. in the, checking the prisons, who's in there, man? Who feels up? Like, well, we read in there, right? In Isaiah, right? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. How does, how does, who has Isaiah? Read that. Who's the people robbed and spoiled? They're all of them stared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. Now, we know that our people fill up the actual prisons, which are privately owned, okay? Esau, Edom, they, they, they work their wickedness to make sure they fill up those prisons, right? Yeah. But ultimately, it's talking about America in a whole, man. Yeah. This is a this is a prison like Alex Jones got prison planet. This is a this is straight up prison, prison planet, man. Yeah, prison camp. Yeah, you know? For the Israelites. Yep. Going to those prison houses, actual prisons, that's just modern day slavery. Yeah. That, that, that Netflix documentary brought that out. 13th Amendment. 13th, yeah. So basically they just they just flipped it. Instead of like the plantations, you know, because you couldn't do that no more, they just throw Jake in the prisons, you know? A lot of times there's a lot of Jakes that are in there that for shit that they didn't even do. Yeah. You know? But a lot of them niggas are in prison because they niggas and they deserve to be there. But then you got Jakes that are in there that, you know, just got caught up in the system and they were accused of, of crimes yeah. that they didn't commit. You yeah, know? a lot of Jake in there because of child support. Yeah. Oh. Not paying uh, child support, which that's that's wickedness. That's wickedness all hell. You want to talk about unrighteous decrees? Mm, yeah. That's some wicked ass shit, man. You know? The government get, government gets part of that money. They get part of that money. And yeah. the woman definitely ain't taking that and using it properly. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They know. These devils know what they're doing. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's Everything why. is intentional with the so-called white man. Yeah. Everything's intentional. Ain't nothing done by just coincidence. Hell mm -hmm. no. Nah. This man has thinking tanks and all type of uh, 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 right. meetings about right. us, man. Right. If, yeah, but what they call it situation room. Uh, you know? Okay. It was the situation. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Oh. How you could how they could further keep you away from your power. Okay? Yeah, further giving you yeah, things well, that make you no, go away kidding, from the Lord. Rather to the Lord. You know, right. Keep you in that cycle of sin, Boy, you know, right? Where you don't have no help. Yep. All right. Because as long as you in sin, the Lord gonna be mad at you. Mm -hmm. So that's why they set up a Little Wayne, a, a Cardi B, and a, a Megan Thee Stallion, mm -hmm. a Beyonce, all these sellouts to, to influence you in the wrong way. Right. Yep. You and know. They put out they put out a uh, false narratives like uh, the Lord hates to sin instead of the sinner, right, you know, to enable you to sin. Say, well, Lord hates to sin. He'll hate me. But the scripture said the Lord hates the sinner. But the main lie that they push in these churches is the Caesar Borgir, man. Yeah. That's the main, that's the main lie that they push on you. Well, yeah, and that black culture, man, that's another, that's another way of slavery and, and keeping our people all messed up, man. This is that, that the, the, the degenerate rap music, man, the lyrics that they push, uh, you know, amen. Yeah, you, you got all, 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 all those snares, man. The education system in itself, man. Oh, yeah, that man. teaches you how to be a slave, man. Yeah. You know? Hey, bro, I, I seen on a, on the internet, they had a side-by-side -side comparison of the prison system and the school system. Yes. They had the prison same. bus and the school bus, same. Yeah. Lunch the, room. The lunch room, the same. The, you got uh, the fences around the, fences uh, around exactly. the schools. Around yep. the, oh, hey, yeah. At one time, they didn't have fences around the school. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I know you know. Yeah. They didn't have. Yeah. But then they start building fences around the school. Yep. Right? Oh, well, and then was, you get one hour for for lunch, lunch, like recess the, and all the, that the, shit. The go yeah. in the yard, you know. Yeah, the little yeah. cylinder blocks. Yeah. Yep. That was, Same that's, thing. That's all psychological, them, man. Them dull colors. Yeah. 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 Hey, those colors play a big part, you know. Because in Mississippi, they study all of that. where where my my grandmama lived, she lived on the south side with all the you know so-called Negroes live, uh -huh. and all the, the the houses that the white man built, the shotgun houses, every one of them was painted gray, uh -huh. a dismal gray, and the whole house was painted gray. You don't have they didn't paint like the the, the baseboards that yeah. went around white. You know what I'm saying? Give it some color. No, the whole thing was painted gray. That's psychological warfare. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, a lot of that, you know, started off an attack, you know, the tribe of Gad, man. You know, they had re-education systems where... Uh, boarding schools. Yeah, boarding schools. Where, you know, it was a... The, the quote, man, was to kill the Indian. All right, to save, save the, the man. man. Yep. You know, that... Richard that, Henry Pratt. Yeah. <clears throat> that, that was all to destroy, you know, the culture that, that we had. All right? Which all of this ultimately goes back to the scriptures. Yeah. It goes back to the curses, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, it was all a judgment for the Lord for us to lose our identity, be over here in a strange land, be under these goddamn heathens, yeah. you know, like worship false gods. That was all of our punishment, man. Yeah. Our, our woman being against us, yeah. you know, uh, second the father out the homes, all of this is, this is all judgment, man. God, yeah. Got some real quick. Second Chronicles 7 and 19, but if ye turn away and forsake my statutes and my commandments, which I have set before you, and shall go, to say, and shall go and and shall go and serve other gods and worship them. Mm -hmm. Then will I pluck them up by the roots out of my land which mm. I have given them, and this house which I have sanctified for my name, mm. will I cast out of my sight, and will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations. What does the scripture say? If, a, if, if she go not the way that you will have her, give her a bill of divorce and let her go. That's what the Heavenly Father did to us, man. We didn't, we wasn't uh, adhering to his word. We were being disobedient. So the Lord gave, gave us a bill of divorcement, in other words, and let us go. You know, he, he kicked us out of the land. You know? And this house, which is high, because we used to be high, okay? We used to be, you know, on top shall be an astonishment to everyone that pass by it, so that he shall say, What hath the Lord done thus unto this land and unto this house? Hey, yeah, God, hey, that was the Lord's doing, man. It had no, you even didn't have, you know, no kind of strength or power over us, man. You other nations are weaker than us, man. All right? The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Lord's chosen people. And that's why we were punished. Like it says, like it's gonna say in Amos the third chapter, man. Oh, man. So Amos three and one, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Hey, so like the brothers reading, man, you know, hey, you know, we worship these other gods, these other idols, and because of that, you know, we are punished through means of slavery. That's why we're targeted today. That's why we're going through the curses today, man. Yeah, that's why, uh, uh, you know, Jake, with these different uprisings, it didn't work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the foundation of it wasn't Yahweh Shema Shah. Yeah. You know, the Black Panthers and other movements. Esau was able to get up in there and, and deter it. Yeah. But, and it's not, this is, this, this ain't got nothing to do with Esau right here. Yeah. This is all in the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah. This, this is the Lord gathering his elect. Once again, so he'll, when he come back, you know, his, his wife is ready for him. We got to go back to the Isaiah, man, because when you keep reading, it goes right into it, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, it also proved that the Most High is only dealing with the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Israel says, out of all the families of the earth, you have I known. You right, know? you ain't worried about another man's woman. Yeah. Or you ain't worried about no, you ain't, you know, you worry, you, you concerned with, like me, I'm concerned with what my woman's doing. I ain't worried about what these bitches out here doing. As long as my woman not out here yep. partaking in the fucking madness, man. All right. So when, when if my woman was partaking in the madness, you ain't gonna be my woman no more, man. Right. And that's what happened. Yeah. Our people wanted to be like the heathen, man. Yeah. Also, your children. You know, you ain't worried about what, what your neighbor's kids are doing. No, you care right. about what your kid is doing, man. You're gonna whoop your kid. You're gonna put that switch to your kid, man. All right. Yeah. One more verse. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Second Chronicles seven and twenty-two. And it shall be answered because they forsook the Lord, Yahweh, God of their fathers, which brought them forth out of the land of Egypt and laid hold on other gods and worshiped them and served them. Therefore, hath he brought all this evil upon them. Yeah, that's what, hey man, that's why, you know, the evil, hey, those curses were brought evil. upon us, man. All right, you know, like I wanted to specify, man, you know, these other nations, man. You know, they, they, it's not because they're bigger than us. It's not because they're stronger than us, man. Right. It's because we did wrong by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, His side, man. That's what, that's why we're in this low state right now. Right. right. And, 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 and that's why the Most High has to destroy our people, man. 
Like our people are just in that party spirit, man. Yeah. Like over there, the park birthdays, they're about to celebrate Mother's Day tomorrow. You know, they're not worried about the Lord. They're not worried about the Lord coming back, man. So that's most I just have to kill them all, you know? Yeah. Uh, go back to the Isaiah, man. Yeah, go back to the Isaiah. Back in Isaiah 42, 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are hid, all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivereth. For a spoil, and none saith restore. Yeah, amen. You know, all these nations are praying on our downfall, man. Because they understand, you know, once we're at the top, man, you know, that's it. All right, they, they don't want to see us at the top, man. You know, they call us by, you know, these different bywords, man. You know, they, they, they take pride that they're over us, man. Yep. But hey, like I said, man, all the authority that's been given to you was by the Father, by by Salaki, by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, doesn't it say in Revelation, them that uh, see them um, uh, will not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves? Yeah, gone, gone, yeah. And they send gifts to each other, roughly yeah. paraphrasing. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. they're constantly praying on our downfall, man. All right, they, they, they like to see us, you know, far away from our power, man. Yeah. All right? Come that's why hey, you ain't got no one, you know, sticking up for us, man. That's right. All right? It, that's why we need, we need Yahweh Shai to return. Yeah, I said none delivereth. Yeah. You know? That's what I was going into with the Black Panthers. They rose up. Black all these Max. different, yeah, the civil rights movement. All this, this stuff that Jake tried to, you know, save, save us, and then none delivereth, man. Only Yahweh Shai is going to get us out of this mess. Yeah. Hey, these other yeah. nations understand that when we when we are in um, accordance with our power, that we rule over them. Yeah. Okay. And we vigorously rule over them. Okay. And they know that. So Psalms 83. Yeah. All right. They know that they're the, they're our enemies. Right. Yeah. The time of King David, you know, he went around and conquered all the nations. You know. Go ahead. This is a precept. Um, Going into uh, can you read that part where it says uh, for a prey as in Isaiah 42. Come on. Uh, this is the people robbed and spoiled. They all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth. Right. This is Psalms chapter 10, verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking place of the villages, mm. in the secret place do he murder the innocent. Mm. His eyes are proudly set against the poor. Yeah. Right. Who's who, who's the innocent? Our people, man. Although we're not innocent, right? Whoever perished being innocent. But at the same time, we're innocent concerning this man's society. Right. right. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doeth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. He crouches and humble himself, and the poor may fall by his stronghold. Hey, a lion, when, it, when he goes hunting, man, he waits till his prey is weak, man. You know, and that's what Esau is systematically is doing to us, man. Right. You know, with the constant attacks. Mm -hmm. What makes us weak? What makes us... What's our kryptonite? It's sin. Yeah. All right, and that's why, like I was saying earlier, sin is what keeps us down. And this is why so for white men, these other nations do the best they can to, to keep us constantly sinning. Because when we constantly sin, that separates us from our power. That allows them to take over. Uh, that allows them to rule over us, man. And Esau, Edom knows this. That's right. That's why it says the, uh, the righteous are, um, are upright, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Yeah. The righteous are more excellent than his neighbor. There you go. Right. Yeah. But the way of the wicked seduces them. Yeah, that's why. So. Oh, yeah, that's why. You got to still go that 24 first, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get the precept. I'm sorry. Just real quick, going into the pray. It's uh, Psalms 64 and 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. The brothers going into those secret councils that they have, man. Those think tanks, you know. And they, they, they get together and they brainstorm different ways to you know, keep our people from, from sinning or to keep them continually sinning, yeah. you know. They, they want to see us in that weak vibration, man. All right, away why, from our power, man. That's why they push that homosexual agenda. Yeah. yeah. That know, feminism. They, 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 they push uh, promisc promiscuity. Promiscuality, uh, promiscuality on our women. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they that, try that. to trap Jake, man, and it, and it's working. Yeah, hey, we're, we're reading it's it. working. The man. snares, man. You're yeah, reading it. Yeah, so it's that whole black culture. Uh, gang you know? banging, gang banging, yeah. murdering one another. The culture. They take the they take the attention off of them yeah. and have us have us attacking one another, man. You go back to the 80s and yeah. the 90s. You know what I mean? Jake's died over gang violence. 
senseless death over color smell, over neighborhoods that they don't own. That was all uh, intentional, man. Yeah. yeah. And then they have the music to be the soundtrack of the time. Yeah. You no. Know? Uh, and if you go into the history about the gangs, they originally set up, you know, the fight back against Esau, you know, way back in the day, man. You gotta, you can't, you can't, you can't forget to mention crack cocaine, man. Sure. Yeah, that, just that did a number on us, man. Man, that fucking lost me. That's what said, woe unto him that give it uh, his neighbor drink. The drink. drink. Yeah. So he may look upon his wickedness. Neckedness. When but, crack came uh, in, it was like a tornado came through, through through the uh, neighborhood. Devastated. Literally. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trash. The whole place got trashed. Okay. It look. It looked started looking like downtown LA now, with all the homelessness. Pregnant okay. mothers smoking yeah. crack. Yeah. And that crack cocaine, you know, that was chemically created in a lab, you yeah. know, and it was designed to fuck up Jake even more, because I believe it, it bonds to melanin. Yeah. Uh, it made Jake addicted to it, man. Yeah. Heavy mm -hmm. addiction. We saw studies all of this shit, man. Oh, yeah. Like brothers mentioned, a lion, a lion is, is gonna watch the prey. Yeah. And the scriptures called this man a serpent. A serpent gonna do the same thing. A serpent will stay still for hours, man. Mm -hmm. So they, this, this is the devil we're talking about, man. The so-called white man is the fucking devil, man. Go ahead, Ock. Uh, who wet their tongue, Psalm 64 and 3. Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. That's the hey. different legis... I'm sorry, yeah. Ock. Like the process going into, man, those the unrighteous decrees, those different legislations that yep. he brought out to attack our people, man. All right, and our people don't know. Yeah. Now it's like you can look it up, and mm -hmm. but before you, Jake wasn't about to go to the library and actually search the books. And nah, Jake wasn't doing that, man. Not the average Jake. All right. You know, now it's accessible if you're looking for the information. But before it was, man, these little different laws. This man will pass. It wasn't accessible like that, man. You know, you got to have a certain spirit on you to to do all of that. Going back to the '70s, yeah. the, the '60s, the '80s, yeah. you had to really be in that life. Yeah. You know, but Jake wasn't concerned with that. It was our reality is so harsh. You you really ain't even thinking about that. You right. thinking about your fucking lights not going out. You thinking about providing food for your family. Yeah. You thinking about getting a goddamn yeah. job. Jake on the weekend thinking about how he could just get a little peace. He want to party. He want to drink a little. You know what I'm saying? That's Try and to then distract himself. Exactly. Week work week and then play at the weekend yes. and and Sad. repeat. Which is what Sad. alcohol. Malt liquor. Yeah. Like At one time, malt liquor was was prominent. Yeah. They was advertising that shit on, yeah. on you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's where you get the forties and all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was a big thing, but that that shit is straight death. That is oh, death, man. A lot of Jakes ain't even living past four. All, the, all them all them Jakes back then, they they, they ain't alive, man. Man, I drink I drink this much out of a forty of a uh, old English eight hundred. This much, literally. My head started pounding like somebody was hitting me in the head with a sledgehammer, man. Like a headache? Like a bad headache, bro. I never had no headache like that before. There's all type of chemicals in there to destroy you. Exactly. Yeah. You know? It's, it's targeted toward Jake. Yeah, they got liquor stores on every corner. Yeah. They make they make that accessible. But when the hell you ever seen a Whole Foods or anything like that in the, in the hood, man? Shit. Hell no. Nah. You're going to oh. see a liquor store or something you can walk yeah. to. Yeah. You ain't got a car, but you can get your ass to that liquor store yeah. and spend two dollars and get you a forty-ounce uh, mm -hmm. bottle, along with some cigarettes or some weed or whatever. They don't even sell forty ounces in their neighborhoods. They're oh, not just no. liquor stores and yeah. shops too. They're not even called liquor stores. They right. call wine and spirits. Wine and spirits. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. call a market. Right. They ain't called liquor stores, man. Exactly. Yeah, I remember coming up as a. It's called something called Colt Forty Five. You know. Yeah, bro. That's they a market. Big one. Yeah. Billy D. Williams, cool as hell, you yeah. know? Just advertising that poison to Jake, man. You know that motherfucker, whoever that person, I don't know who that person is. But most of these people that be advertising this stuff, like McDonald's and all of that, yeah, they, don't, they don't eat that shit, bro. Yeah. They yeah. just getting the check. Like the owner of Pepsi, he's like, I don't give my kids Pepsi. Right. <laughs> Even, uh, uh, was it Steve Jobs? Yeah. Didn't allow his kids to have iPads and right, stuff? Right, exactly. wonder why. If the creators don't allow them to their kids to use their own product. I should tell you something right there. They know. They know why they why they uh, put it out. I think uh, the guy who made TikTok, the Chinese guy, he doesn't let his kids use it. Uh, yeah. Use the, yeah. Use the website. Yeah, this is addicting, man. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that's another thing, man. Yeah, that social media shit. Man. No, that was that was that was a bomb. They yeah. dropped in the, in the world. Boom. When I was a school yeah. bus driver, I saw these kids were on my bus. 
always on TikTok, make TikTok. Hey, some guy brought it up. It's like after Esau didn't colonize the world, now he's trying to colonize people on social media. Now that old. Oh, Jobs are already done. Jobs are already done. Jobs done, man. That's a fucked yeah. up place. That TikTok, that social media, Instagram, all that it makes your your attention span short. Short, yeah, yeah, yeah very okay. short. I find myself having a shorter attention span. Yep, me too. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm like, God damn, I'm, I got a short attention span. Now I just want to look at the next thing. What's next? What's yeah, next? What's yeah. next? And then it's like if you put if you if you don't have your phone, if you don't mess with your phone, then you ain't gonna get to the, the information. Right. Yeah. So it's like. Damn if you do, damn if yeah, you don't. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's why. So, um, like this. Yeah. That's yeah. why I deleted that shit, bro. That shit was like a fucking drug. It came into it. I'm, I'm like, I don't need this. Yeah, it kind of. What's talking about? It's uh, TikTok. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I, I, I'd rather delete Instagram. Yeah. Because there's information on there, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's a lot of It's good information yeah, on there, man. You I learned a lot, of, a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. And it also depends what you are. Uh, what you like, yeah. you know, if you if you if you like your bitches all day, that's always gonna show. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> that's always gonna show yeah, shit. Algorithm, yeah. yeah. So, no but bitches. if you like, you know, other information or videos, that's what you're gonna get. Bro, I like, yeah, I like exactly. the information. I like the information about the music, bro. I like all of that shit, bro. Yeah. Hey, man. What, 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 hey, it's it's damn if you do, damn if you don't. Yeah. I mean, that's why they're trying to get rid of it. That's why they're trying to ban it. A lot of information, especially during the C19, a lot of information came out through TikTok, man. Uh, yeah. All kinds of information. Bro, it's, it's, I like it. Yeah. I learn a lot, man. Hey, it's all up to the individual to find that balance so at the end of the day. Exactly. Yeah. I, just like TV, the TV's there. Yeah. You can watch TV all day, boo. You know? Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's people that, you, that watch TV all day, but I ain't watching no fucking TV yeah. all day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I can't even, I can't even stand, I can't stand it like that, man. I, it's hard for me to watch movies n n nowadays, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm about to cut my cable bill. I want $200. I don't even watch TV. I don't even have month. cable. I just got the little different apps. Yeah. The Hulu, the Netflix, the, yeah. uh, the HBO Max. Yeah. That's all I got, man. But yeah. even then, I don't even... That's mainly my seeds that be on that shit. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back to Isaiah. Yeah, please, oh, okay. please read that 24 first, bro. <laughs> shit, back at Isaiah. 22, uh, 23. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for a time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to robbers? Right, who's 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 ultimately and and, and uh who's ultimately running the show? You know who ultimately put us in this position? All you, all you gotta see is how the world is run, man. You know, hey, go over there in Japan. You know, hey, go out there and, you know, the other countries, man. You know, they, they walk and talk like the so-called white man. Nah, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that. It's the most high that did it to us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Who gave Jacob for spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord. Did not the Lord, man. This is Yahweh by Shemar Shai that did this to us, man. That's right. He's the one that had us being hung on trees, having Jake being terrorized and harassed. Yeah. You had Jake, uh, uh, they had different uh, developings and, and cities and shit. Who, who, who sent the so-called white man to, to terrorize Jake and to, and, to, and, to, and to destroy Jake? That was that was Yahweh Bashiram Shah that sent the so-called white man. Who sent the so-called white man over here on the Western Hemisphere, man? This is the Lord, man. That's right. All because we didn't keep his word. We made a promise and a covenant with the Lord to keep his word and we broke it, man. We didn't keep our side of the deal. So this is what happens. All right? A straight heavenly ass whooping, man. Put these devils on camera, man. The Lord put the so-called white man on this, man. That's that you. That should make you feel shameful, man. Because they're not smarter than us. They're not stronger than us. They ain't better than us in no way other than wickedness, man. Yep. But even then, with wickedness, Jake surpassed them. You know what I mean? I go on yeah. tundra. Yeah. It's too big. Go too big. Yeah, bro. I'm good, bro. Look nah, bro. I need Look that. Look y'all on the curve. Look Cause you don't know how to drive. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro, you be doing the same shit. Yeah, brother. I got a piece of, to this. Yeah. Um, uh, first, too big, man. first, uh, Ezra chapter 8, verse 74. I said, O Lord, I am confounded and ashamed before thy face. Mm. For our sins are multiplied above our heads, and our ignorance have reached up unto heaven. For ever since the time of our fathers, 
We have been and are in great sin, and even unto this day, in our sins and our fathers, we with our brethren and our kings and our priests were given up unto the kings of the earth, to the sword, and to the captivity, and for a prey with shame unto this day. Yeah, man, like you said, sin is our kryptonite, man. All right. Yeah. And it takes you getting out of sin. I mean, we're, we still sin, yeah. but it takes you trying to walk righteously to see how whack sin is, man. Wow. Sin holds you back, man. Hey, hey, uh, Paul said it best. Yeah. All right, it is not I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Like Tupac, right. right? He had a lyric, and uh, uh, look at that Tupac, what the hell? He had a lyric, right? Which I, that's a, that's a, that's a, brothers, brothers into, you know, they like Tupac, and watch that series, that's a badass series. But uh, he said in that, to live and die in LA song, he said something, something, something liking the sin. Sin is not likable, man. Sin is not cool whatsoever, man. Exactly. Homosexuals, that's, that's sin. That shit is not cool. A woman being a whore, that shit is sin. That shit is not cool, man. Right. Oh. Tattoos, you see how Jake them took, how far Jake them took tattoos? Yeah. That shit is not cool, man. Nope. Yeah. Eating pork and shrimp and crab and lobster, that shit is not cool, man. So sin is devastating to our people, man. Yeah, what is the wages of sin? Death, yeah. man. Exactly. Okay. Wow. What is the wages of righteousness? Life. 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 That's why the Lord said, I said this is before you, or life and death. Life and death, man. Life was keeping the laws, and death was not keeping the laws. Death is doing what you want to do. All right. Yeah. And and we're going to get eternal life through Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is going to be the one to change our bodies, which is going to make us perfect to even keep these laws. Yeah. Well, we're not going to be able to go off. We're not going to be able to even have a thought of, 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 of wickedness. Yeah. yeah, besides what these other guys are teaching, man, we're not perfect now, man. All right, you know, we're still, we still go up. Like the brother was reading, uh, or like I was singing earlier, man, our righteousness is like filthy rags, man. Yeah. All right? I got one, too. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of thy Lord power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah. And that happened. And that's over 50 something curses. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and that, that happened to us, man. Every time we went into captivity, this is what we experienced. Yeah. And there's a, there's a lot of uh, real specific curses that we experienced coming here on this side of the earth. Yeah. Okay? Like us moving from one, con us being taken from one continent to the next in slave ship. That was a curse, man. Yeah. And that only happened to so-called Negro, uh, 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 Haitian, and so-called uh, West Indian, man. Okay? So so nobody else fits these Bible prophecies like like, uh, like us, man. Hey, you spoke about gang culture, man. That, that's one of the curses, man. You know, that I shall be evil against thine own brother, man. That, that's, there's, hey, there's, the woman too. Yeah. You know, with these other nations, there's not as much infighting as, you know, as our own people, man. Yeah, right. You know, man, yeah. that, that is crazy. That's crazy. why they're able to live freely, man. Yeah. The so-called white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man, they're able to live freely, man. You're not bound by, by, by these curses that we experience, man. That's why the whole world is against us. Skip to speak about uh, old nation that is not desired. Mm -hmm. right. who, is that, who does that fit, man? What did Paul Mooney say? Everybody wants to be a nigga, but nobody wants to be a nigga, man. That's right. That means that they want to be us, but they don't want to experience the things that we experience on a daily basis, man. Uh, like you got Jaffa, you got them uh, Polynesians, them Tongans. They try to beat Jake. They try to fit themselves, but some of them are Jake. Yeah. Well, you got you got Jake. You got certain of them that try to beat Jake. You know. Yeah. So right. all, yeah. Hey, who never? Who, you don't know some of them. I mean, a lot of them are, but you know, a lot of them are not. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it was this this white lady. She always be coming out talking about you know white people and how they. Our, our, uh, Jane Elliott. Jane Elliott. Yep. And she was, she was, she had an audience of white people, and she's like, everybody raise your hand who would want to take the place of uh, the place of a black person. Nobody raised their Nobody hand. Nobody raised their black. And, and she and was hand. like, that's proof that you know what we go through, man. Yeah. That's yeah. proof that you know what the what the so-called black male experiences here in America, man. Yeah. 
Nobody, yeah. nobody wants. She's a Jake. She yeah, gotta she be a gotta Jake. Be a Jake. She gotta be a Jake. You know, nobody wants to trade places with us. Okay, even though they say no, things are different. Things have changed. Whoop de whoop. They know nothing's changed. How up can to they? Date. How can they say that something's changed? You don't even know what. You don't even know the depths of what we're dealing with. Right. So for you to begin to speak on what the hell we going through, who the fuck are you to talk to tell us what we going through? Right. Man? Right. Yeah, it's like they want our spirit, but you know they don't want to deal with the curses that we have to go through. Right. Mm-hmm. But I got a precept links up with Isaiah 42, and how you know so at, the, at the end of the day, it was the Most High that put us in this position. It was the Most High that put these curses on us as punishment. It's Ezekiel 30, 39, 21. I knew you was gonna grab that. <laughs> I, I knew that's it. That's my hey, that's hey, that's, that's yep. shit right here. Not shit. And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed in my hand that I have laid upon them. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord their power from that day and forward. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity because they trespassed against me. Therefore, I hid my face from them and gave them unto the hand of their enemies. So they fell, they all, by the sword. So it, really, it wasn't because, you know, these heathens are more powerful than us, man. It, it was all the Lord at the end of the day. Right. All right, that, that punished our people, man. Right. All right. You know, for, for committing that, that idolatry, man. Right. That spiritual adultery. And you got Jake looking to the so-called white man to, to, to for, for some type of reparations or some type of help. No, you should be seeking the Lord. The Lord is the one that put us in the situation. Right. He going to be the one to take us out of the situation, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, like when your parents come in, they tell you, all right, you are punishment. Right. You need that okay from your parents, man. Yeah, your brothers and sisters yeah, can't come in. Yeah, they ain't gonna do shit. Or so your you, friend. Right. Hey, you, you off punishment now. No. No, yo, yo, yo. Whoever put you on punishment got to be the one to take you off the punishment. So man. suppose you go and get yourself, to let them take you off punishment. What's your, what's your parents going to do? It's just going to worsen it. It's going to worsen it, exactly. But how can our people seek justice from the Lord when they don't even know the Lord? The scriptures say that it's a righteous thing for the most high to recompense the tri- right, uh, tribulation to them that trouble us. Right. All right, but our people don't know the Lord. They don't know scriptures like that, man. They think they know the Lord. But they don't. You know the you know the God that the so-called white man taught you. Yeah. yeah Which I, is a no-consequence God. I read the Bible from the front to the back. <laughs> I know the Bible. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what ja- who Jacob and Esau is. They don't know the first verse of the Bible. They don't know. They don't know how many um, chapters is in Revelation. Bro, when I was going to church as a kid, I never heard about Jacob and Esau. Yeah. yeah when that should be like the main thing talking yeah, about. Yeah, those are the two I main never characters heard of that, bro. in the script. Yeah. Nobody going to Genesis 25th chapter at all. Deuteronomy it, 28. At they all, bro. They should have been going through that. That should be the main one of the main topics. They don't even read. To let you know who you are as a people and how you relate to the scriptures. When I thought we, when they was talking about Gentiles, I thought we was the Gentiles, the natural Gentiles. Right. right okay. I right. thought we were the natural Gentiles. They teach right? that. I, they teach that we're the natural Gentiles. Yep. Yeah. No. Okay. They don't even go into the apocrypha. You know. Nope. They call this the book of the heretics, man. I didn't even knew that existed, huh? Yeah. yeah that's good, the man. first book I've ever purchased. Yeah. yeah. In my life. <laughs> yeah. When the scripture says these things shall come upon you for a sign and wonder, the curses, we didn't even know that existed in the scriptures. We didn't even See, know but the Israelites were cursed. That's why the Lord, get that Matthew uh, 15 and 24. That's why the Lord referred to us as lost sheep. When you lost, you don't know where you're going. Exactly. You don't even know how to get back to where you was at. Yeah. You lost. You have no compass. You have no compass, bro. You don't know down from up and left from right, east not, from west. Not only were you lost, your parents were lost. Yeah. Their parents were yep. lost. And their parents were yep. lost. Yep. Yep. So it's just a cycle of bullshit, man. Mm-hmm. But it took Yahweh Bashim Al Shai setting up his prophets for you know for that for that word to go out, for that truth to go out, yeah. for us, our faith to be activated again. Yeah. So we know we're close to being delivered out of here, man. That's right. Because the, the fact s- that we got the spirit. Right. The scriptures is a script. And it, it goes according to how the Most High wrote it, okay? Yep. The, the script don't go, you know, to one part and then come back again and repeat itself. No, it, it constantly goes. We're, we're going to eventually reach the end, man, okay? And everything is going to play out as the Most High wrote it, yep. okay? And it's going to come, everything is going to come in its time, in its season. 
That's right. Okay? There was a season for us to go into slavery. There's a season for us to come out of slavery. Okay? Right. Now it's the time for us to come out. Okay? Now it's time for us to know who we are. That's it. And to know why we've been over here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Matt oh. Go ahead. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I'm not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, and these are the lost sheep, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know what I'm saying, the first chapter? Because we were raised up. They called us Africans. They called us black, Afro, colored. Afro-Americans. Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, yeah. Brazilians, Cubans, El Salvadorians. Yeah. Who, who, where, where the hell is that in the Bible? That's not in the Bible. You got the children of Israel in the Bible. You got the Edomites in the Bible, the Ishmaelites, so on and so on. Yeah. All right, somebody got to be the Israelites, and it ain't them so-called white people in the land of Israel, man. Right. That run the whole world. All right, the so-called white man is not the Jew. He's not. The so-called Negro is the Jew, man. That's right. And if you got a problem with that, you got a problem with reality, man. You got a problem with the truth. Yeah. You got a problem with the Heavenly Father and His Son, because He chose us to be His people. As a matter of fact, we look like our God. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Isaiah 1 and 10, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall right, come. And they call us the minority. No, we're the, we're the majority, man. You so-called white people are the minority, okay? You can't even have babies like us, man. I lay down with my woman one time and I have a baby, man. <laughs> I just touch my, I just hug her. <laughs> oh, so and she pregnant, pregnant man. <laughs> So we don't have that problem. You have that problem. All right, go ahead. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, you are not my people. Right, this is that place, America. They call us all type of bywords and proverbs, all type of slanderous uh, uh, titles they put on us, calling us niggers. You got some nerve to call us niggers. All right, you got some goddamn nerve. I'll, I'll give it to you, that's funny, man. To call somebody a nigger, that's pretty funny. But I'd rather be a nigger than the Edomite. Yeah. I'd rather be a nigger than, than the wicked, man. Okay? I'll be a nigger all day. Yeah. Opposed to being a goddamn Edomite. That is that is about to experience a thousand years of hard bondage, man. Man. Uh. Go ahead. And they, think they, they think they did it to us. Yeah. They think they, they, you know, they thought of all the ways that they could terrorize us, torture us. But they have never experienced being terrorized and tortured with someone with spiritual power, man. Okay? They have never experienced being dragged out on a spaceship on a chain into outer space. Okay? They never experienced that, but they're going to experience that, man. Well, 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 let's put it like this. What happened to us, that's what happened to the people that the Lord loves. Because the Lord loves his people. That's why he punished us. So yep. what is the Lord going to do to, to the ones that he hates? Because it is written that the, the Lord hates the Edomites, yeah. which are the so-called white people. So what's going to happen to you? Go ahead. Hosea 1 and 10, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. Right. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, you are not my people. Right. There it shall be said unto them, you are the sons of the living God. Right. And that's being said. Yes. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Al Shai, has raised up his prophets once again. And it's been, our true identity is being spoken on, man. It's being taught, man. Oh, yeah, that's and, very, and Jake is waking up. That's very that's very real. For the longest time, you know, this truth, it was sealed. Yep. And then it, it was Yahweh Shai that ultimately opened up the, these books. Right. All right, open up that understanding through the way of the prophets, man. Well, the scriptures speak about a 350-year period. Yeah. That we weren't going to know who the hell we were. Mm -hmm. But then the Lord put the, the spirit of life entered into us, and we stood upon our feet. Yeah. Okay, and fear fell upon them that seen it, man. And that started off with uh, our apostles, their teachers in the 1960s, man. Yep. All right, you know, hey, uh, Elder Abba Vivens. All right, uh, Elder Arya, Elder Yaiqua. King no, Masha. King Masha. Out there are yeah, hey, down to our apostles, you know, of GMS, man. Our apostle Tahar, apostle Raka. Right, the prophecy in the, in, the, in the book of Malachi says what? That the Lord going to send Elijah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, that's why Esau went so hard against us, bringing drugs and um, 
yeah. separating the families. It's just cool. like just like Pharaoh, when, when um, the Lord was with Moses and Aaron, they increased the, the rigor. They went hard. They oppressed Jake's even more. Yeah. As yeah. soon as the truth came came about, Esau went into turbo mode and destroyed Before our the people. truth hey, came uh, about. Before the truth. So yeah, like even, yeah, it kind of came before, yeah. before the truth. That's written yeah, in uh, Luke. Yeah. After, you know? you know, uh, the Lord is going to give us a tongue where, you know, they can't gainsay or, you know, do anything it's against us, right? Yeah. You know? Hey, the truth, man, you know, that that's the truth, man. There's there's no going against it. You can't resist it. All right? Oh, no, I've always, my name is William Smith. I'm always working on Saturday, and I never I never get to come. And what do you work at, right here? Yeah. I work in Beverly Hills, so I'm okay. always coming by. And, but... Right on, I don't know where I was first exposed to uh, the Israelites. Truth, Israelites. The, the, the Israelites, and um, I love what you were saying about lies and the truth and reality. The truth you only need to hear once. So nice. something that you're hearing every single day, and they're telling you over and over, the, these people are like this, those people are like this, that's a lie, because you need to hear it every day, it needs to be reinforced. Whereas the truth is an awakening, the truth defends itself. Right on, because, uh, yes, the truth defends itself. And God bless you guys. I mean, it, it's uh, it's interesting. I like to see how people react to this information because uh, we're going fast in a direction. I call it the final trick is the identity uh, obsession. So they want you obsessed with any kind of secular identity that they can present to you, whether it's sexuality or whether a nationality or anything other than your true living God identity. And I, I, I believe it wholeheartedly. So keep up the great work, gentlemen. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Have a great day. You too, man. Yeah, real quick. Uh, Zephaniah 2 and 8. Well, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai of hosts, after the glory that he has sent me unto the nations which spoiled you, for he that toucheth you touches the apple of his eye. Yeah, and yeah. hey, you don't fuck up, man. You know, hey, we're, we're the Lord's treasure, man. All right, those of you who, uh, you know, uh, especially the so-called white men, you know, man, you, you went far above where you were supposed to, man. Mm -hmm. you, you did some vile shit. For the affliction, right? Yeah, you forwarded the affliction, man. You showed no mercy. Yeah. And mercy, when we say show no mercy, you show no compassion. Yeah. yeah. You 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 flooding our neighborhoods with crack cocaine, you separating the you taking the fathers out the house, okay, you imprisoning all, all of our people, so on. So the list goes fucking on and on, man. Yeah. Hey, remember they you, were you show no compassion. Releasing what? Four million mosquitoes a day. In Florida. In Florida. Okay. In Florida, just to see what how what the whooping whooping cough, whatever it's called, whooping cough. And then the, the uh 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 Syphilis, they gave our people syphilis, oh, yeah. and they had the cure, right? But they let it, they wanted to see what would happen over a course of what 40 years, yeah. Uh, yeah. These, are, these are the things that this man, does. Shit, the juice, right? Man, yes. The juice, yes. awesome. hey, they used to they used to spray our neighborhoods in Mississippi with DDT every night. Wow. Talking about they they uh they um spraying for mosquitoes, right? And they used to spray a cloud, it used to be a cloud, and we as children. Because it was cloud, we used to run and play in it and shit, right? Not knowing that this shit is poison as fuck, bro, right? And they see that shit wasn't killing us, so they came back with a more concentrated uh, uh, version of it. Wow. It didn't make no smoke, but that shit was strong. We ran in the house then. Then we ran in the house and closed our windows. What? Man. Yeah. And how, and, and how many other chicks experienced that, you know what I exactly. mean? Yeah. And you got the agent, agent, agent Orange and all of that. Yep. Yeah. So this devil, man, he ain't stopped. It ain't like he stopped. Mm -hmm. It ain't like he stopped in the mm -hmm. 70s. This nigga keeps on going, man. Yeah. He got you it know? up in the sky now. Okay? It's up in the sky. And, and with all these things happening up in the sky, nobody says anything about it. It's like it's not even happening. And it's it's, it's, uh, it's nonstop, too. Right. Nonstop. You, go, you go wake up at 3 in the morning, walk outside. Yeah, they spraying that shit, man. Yeah, that's why we 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 so honestly cry to our God, Yahweh Bashmah Shai, to take us out of here, man. Cause this shit is this shit is it's getting insane, man. It is. 
Oh. It's getting insane. The scriptures say knowledge and wisdom should be the stability. If we didn't have this truth, God damn. Fucking yeah. I, 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 I fuck around and, 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 you know. I got a preset. That's what, that's why you <laughs> go crazy out this motherfucker. That's why yo. Jay going crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's why Jay you got Jay killing crazy. each other. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got it. But I Jay got killing it. the wrong ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. You killing the wrong, hey, you know, hey. If you carnal mind, hey, go ahead and kill, kill the right enemy, man. Yeah. Not your, not your neighbor. Kill your real, your real enemy, man. Ecclesi Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Yeah, because you live in a reality, man. Yeah. These people are able to escape reality through different whatever, you know, they're doing, you know. DLA. A lot of people... On pills, they're on heavy drugs nowadays, yeah, but, man. But, but can you really escape it? You can you just can. distract yourself from it. But you can't escape the reality that you're living in. You could be, you could choose to be ignorant to it, choose not to listen, choose not to know. But even that's gonna bite you in the ass, right? But, because you can't afford to be ignorant these days. No. If you were just being ignorant, you, you willingly and went and got the juice. That's gonna hurt you. Oh yeah. So you can't yeah. really even afford to be ignorant these days. Yeah, we're literally staying ignorant, man. You know, that's why a lot of people are dropping dead, man. All right, like the brother saying, man, you can't afford it, man. At the end of the day, you need the Lord with you. All right? That's why the Lord said, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, a, a sheep don't know any better, you know? God. Being uh, led. Yeah. That's right. Uh, can you give me that in second Ezra? So 15. Start up. Start at six. Second Ezra fifteen and six. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Hey, so the brother was just reading in the book of Sirach, man, which much uh, wisdom, you know, increases sorrow. Ecclesiastes. Oh, Ecclesiastes. Oh, Ecclesi oh, yeah, the book of Sirach. Yeah. Oh, I mean Ecclesiastes. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Yeah. He was just reading that, man, you know, and we were just listing all kinds of things that are out there to kill us, man. These chemtrails, oh. all right, the food, all right, all type of shit, man. You know, it, this frequencies. earth. Frequencies. Hey, what's up? Frequencies. The frequencies. Oh, the, the, the household products. Household products. The detergents. You know what I'm saying? Your soaps. The your toothpaste. Toothpaste. The shampoo. Air oh, yeah. fresheners. Okay. Air the, fresheners. The house you live in. Okay. Your house. The, the carpet. Yeah. Okay. The hardwood floors that they're fake wood. You know, all of that, man. All these Western ideologies, man, designed to yeah. designed to destroy us. Yeah, they're not physically harming you. They're, they're destroying your mind in some, one way or another. Yeah. Putting har harm on uh, metals in your body through different food and different resources that we use every day. Attacking your immune system. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows something ain't right, man. That's why it says in the scriptures when uh, the wicked under authority, man, the, the earth, is, it's mourning, man. The earth and the people, they mourn. And it's, it's a lot of it's here in America, man. It's the worst place. Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause other parts in the world like Europe, certain chemicals that we have here are banned over there. Yeah. 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 Majority, lady, majority of things yeah, are banned yeah, exactly. over there. Oh, this lady went to Mexico and she was like, yeah, man, I can't. When I eat the food over there in Mexico, it, it sits well with me, but you know, I, I feel like I'm eating real food. Not like when I come back over here, I get all these chemical, chemicalized food that you gotta read the ingredients. Like, uh, my sister got these uh, waffles, right? And I looked at the ingredients. It said bioengineered, uh, made with bio, bio, bio engineered ingredients. I'm like, what the hell? I'm throw this shit away. I have to change and pronounce half the shit that's in the food. Yeah. Remember the brothers came from England and they got sick when they ate the food out here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Filled with sugar and chemicals, man. Oh, yeah. These other countries, man, their ingredient list, it doesn't have all, all those lists of ingredients of right. chemicals. You got the same brands, right? Yeah. The same brands over there. You go take your ass to Italy, it's going to be the same brands, but it's going to be two or three ingredients over there. Over yeah. here, it's shit you can't even pronounce. Yep. Yeah. You Just look on up. French fries, they said uh, with salt, French fry, and oil Yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah. Over here, 16 ingredients yeah. for the same thing. But here's the thing, when you could make French fries, the oil that you make, yeah, the you oils cook. that you use. A lot of these restaurants, they use cheap ass oils that's not, the cheapest that's, that's, oils. that's harmful for your body. Yeah. You know, that's the same thing with uh, like uh, right here, Dave's Hot Chicken. Yeah. Oh man. All those places that you eat, the fried, the oils, you can, if you eat one of those, you can feel that shit. You can oh, feel yeah. it in your heart. It gives you heartburn. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. which oil, which uh, 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 these oil companies, 
uh, claim to be um, claim that the oils doesn't do no harm to your heart, man. But that's just a lie. That big fat people, lie. Give people cancers. Yup. Yeah, it makes people infer infertile. Yeah. You know, it, uh, it's designed to attack you. They try to make you sick over here, man. Yeah. Just so you can fill up the hospitals and they get paid more money. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a vicious cycle of death. That's yeah, nice I used, the point. I used to eat the chicken, the fried chicken from Albertson. It used to be good. I ain't gonna put it back in the day. I went to try oh, this shit is good, I. Right? Yeah. But I'm saying, yeah, but it tastes good. But back back in the day, it had a not, nice little flavor to it. Mm. But now, I try to eat some. The oil, you could taste the oil. The oil is uh, terrible. Oh. I had to throw that shit away, man. Like that's real. When did it start changing? I don't know. Hey, you know. It's all about making money in this land, like the brother's saying, man. People would cheap out and you know skimp out and get the worst of ingredients. Man. Yeah. Right. You know. Even the stuff that are marketed as health, healthy for you, oh, yeah. that's still bad for you. Like the zero sugar, I was getting these uh, ginger ale, uh, Canada dry ginger ale, zero sugar. Mm -hmm. Tastes good, tastes just like the regular ginger ale. But when you actually read the ingredients, uh, it's got aspartame in it, man. Yeah, see? So, and a lot of them ginger, they didn't even have ginger in it. Well, no, no. <laughs> no oh, ginger. Oh, same thing with avocado oil. Don't even have avocado in it. Yeah, you gotta get ginger beer. Uh -huh. Ginger beer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've been getting that shit from Trader oh. Joe's. Oh, another thing, uh, yeah. Like yeah. aloe vera gel, you go to a store to get some aloe vera gel, doesn't, you know contain, doesn't contain aloe vera. <laughs> you gotta actually oh. buy the aloe vera, yeah. plant, it's cut that shit good. out, get the little gel out. You know? That's yeah. what I do. Yeah. I use it for my cuts when I gotta cut my finger. I get the aloe vera, I have aloe vera plants in my house. Bro, Very even, handy. That's too good. Even the juice, bro, you, it easy work. My brothers ever see the organic drink and then the back of it says 1% juice? Yeah. Like, what the hell is the rest? What's the rest of the juice? It's a bunch of chemicals. Bullshit. Yeah. But I got, I got a preset. That's a, that's a lot of marketing screams from uh, the FDA, like you're saying, man. You know, they, they want to market something that's healthy. Just so, you know. It's really not. You know? Yeah. Just so you find out it's really not. Yeah. I don't yeah. get it. You know what I mean? No GMO and all that. It's just marketable because people don't want to eat that shit. Yeah. Confusion. At the end of the day, people want to eat healthy. You know? But uh, I got two precepts. Yeah, go ahead. It's uh, Revelation 10 and 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And right now, you know, we're in that bitter stage, man. Yeah, come to the truth actually understand what's going on in society about the food the curses right we're in that bitter part man yeah, yeah that's man. that, that uh, that's that you know, obtaining knowledge you can increase it to sorrow after yeah. that links up with it you know uh, yeah. Awesome. yeah get that that chapter of the spirit get that with king david chapter of the spirit get the word chap all right because we're we're chapter in the spirit like, like king david and his men were man you know like the brother Brad uh, brought out, uh, you know, it's, you digest his word. It's, 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 you gotta deal with that bitterness too, man. Yeah. The bitter, the bitter, it's sweet, yeah. but it also is it's bitter. But the bitter things are the best things for you, man. Yeah, it's what profits you, man. But it's a um, the things that are sweet to the mouth are bitter to the belly, and the things that are bitter to the mouth are sweet to the belly. The chaff. The chaff. The spirit. That's why in Ecclesiastes it says, uh, I think it's Ecclesiastes where it's not good to eat that much honey, man. Right? Yeah. You know, sometimes you need the bitter, man. Yeah, you can't yeah. keep eating, you can't, like, you can't eat a lot of sweets, man. Yeah. That shit gonna fuck you up. Yeah. It spikes your blood sugar, you know? You really can't eat a lot of, a lot of anything. You can't exactly. eat a lot of bitter, you can't eat a lot of sweet. Right. That's that moderation. You gotta, yeah, you gotta have that balance. Even with meats. I was, I was looking that. at yeah. this uh, documentary on elephants. And how some of the plants that the elephants eat, you can't eat too much of it because it's really poisonous, right? But you can eat a little of it. So the elephants have, have learned how to it? migrate wow. to different places, okay? And yeah. eat a little of everything. And they teach their young how to eat just a little of this, go to the next place, eat a little of that, oh, that's and then why. circle so back around, okay? And Let's come back on. and eat that, that other thing Let's again. That. That's, 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 that's beautiful, cool. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the lore right there. Yeah. Everything made, they made in perfection. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Second Samuel 17 and 8. For said Hushai, 
Thou knowest thy father and his men, that they, that they be mighty men, and they be chaffed in their minds, as a bear robbed of her whelps in the fields. And thy father is a man of war, and will not lodge with the people. That chapter the mind, can you get the word? Hey, we're trapped in our minds. You know, we're dealing with reality, man. The reality is bitter as all hell. You know, and the scriptures say, hope deferred make it the heart sick. Yeah. So we're waiting on the Lord, you know, but while we're waiting, we're experiencing uh, a lot of pain. Oh, Thank that's you. Uh, <laughs> you got it? Water go. Mari, Mar. You got it? Yeah, Mar. Bitter, bitterness. Like America. America means bitter. When you go into... Um, America, who oh. name? Where did America uh, get his name from? From America Vespucci. Right. When you go into America Vespucci, um, Amer, Amar, is, it stands from the Hebrew Mar, which means bitter. Okay. So, bar bitter. America is a bitter, bitter, bitter place Very for bitter. the Israelites. Very bitter. You know. Place. Yeah. You begin to find out how wicked it is, man. How polluted it is, man. Uh, how trapped. You, know, you, you see, it's like it may seem. Yes, like, you, like you quoted earlier, how the, the captive exile, you know, he hasten is to be loose, man. You know, we want our kingdom to come. We want our Lord to, to return. Was there any more to that? Or was it just, did it just say bitter or was there another word there? Bitter, bitterness. Of, oh, of water or food. Right. Of all its end, of wickedness, cry, of pain. Bitterly. Hey, Amen. We're dealing with a lot of, a lot of pain, man. Hey, that's why it's... Uh, it's Talking about how the servants are gonna sigh and cry, man. All right, you know, constantly, man. Because, man, you know, it's terrible being down here man, in this flesh. All right. Yeah, you gotta witness all the bullshit here too. Yeah. Like the skipper say, uh, with a uh, last lot. Yeah. day to day, his righteous spirit. Yeah. Having to witness Jake. Having a, having a deal with. Part, it's part of, it's part of being in the bathroom. We're out in the trenches. Having to deal more. with women being over men in this society, man. Yeah. That's bitterness, man. That's hey, the, having to hold yeah, your tongue. Yeah, I'll vex you, man. Having to hold your tongue. Yeah. You know, can't you can't do nothing about nothing. You ain't got no power. Yep. That's vexation, man. Shit. Yeah. You just gotta suffer, man. You just gotta take everything, man. And then we, and then that's not even mentioning the battle in our minds. Yeah, wanting to do right, but but messing up at times. Yeah, we're, in a, we're we're trying to be righteous in a wicked world. Sure. What do you think that's gonna do to our minds? You yeah, see you all the wickedness that goes on in this place. Another part, you can't get no pussy out here. <laughs> You know, some, some of us like pussy, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you got yeah, pussy trying to get pussy now. You pussy getting pussy. Yeah, pussy getting pussy now, right? Damn. Yeah, they can get pussy before you can get pussy. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Shit, a fucking homo, a yeah. faggot ass man will get some pussy before you yeah. will. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this one dude, at, uh, I remember I was in high school, this one dude was talking shit to this lesbian. And he, she she went up in front of the and she said, at least I get more pussy than you. I'm like, damn. 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 But she ain't even getting no pussy. Right. You ain't got no rod to penetrate right. no box. You can't nah. get it. You don't know that feeling, bitch. You can you never know. get it. You can never get it. You know? Get it. <laughs> but you can't get it. <laughs> you ain't you, you can never experience what we experience, bitch. Never. You can't produce life. You can't plant your seed in nobody, bitch. No, you don't have a seed. I would've I would have slapped that bitch. Yeah, I'd be like, oh yeah? Yeah, that's what that's what he should have done. Fuck out of here, bitch. Everyone was Oh, you a man? Take these hands then, bitch. <laughs> I got some real quick. Hey, when you under 18, you get away with a lot of shit, man. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Real talk. Oh, not anymore, shit. Probably not no more, nah, bro. Not when I was in high school, nah. When I was coming up, shit. Put I seen, I had seen some motherfucker slap a few bitches, man. Yeah, you put hands on someone and you get caught. You leave it in cuffs. Nah, what? not at all the time. <laughs> I done seen it. That's why I'm saying that. Second Peters 2 and 3, it says... And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. For if the Most High spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down into hell, 
and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved until judgment. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we gotta go through this mental battle, man. You know, with this flesh, man. You know, hey, you know, yeah, as a nation, we, we went off, man. You know, and we're constantly, you know, being tested and tried. You know, under these chains of darkness. Man. Which are these bodies? Yeah. 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 These physical trials too. Yeah. They have to deal with dealing with these bodies, man. These weak bodies, pain. Like right now, I'm dealing with like this fucking sciatic joint pain shit. Yeah. It's twisted in the fuck. Yeah, I know. Hey, the spirit, what did it say? Yeah. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. Yeah. Are you okay in that, bro? Sciatic. It's like a sciatica, sciatic nerve. Yeah. That's a pain that goes all the way down your leg and shit. Well, I think that's that same. I think once I got dealt with that same pain, bro. Yeah. I think he was breaking down how that's what uh, the angel did to Jacob. He was dealing with that. You know, I think that's that same thing. That's painful, huh? Pain, yeah. Hard to walk or what? Hard to walk, sit. Damn. Uh, but yeah, we gotta deal with that. The, the bullshit in the body, the sicknesses, yeah, especially yeah. as you get older, you know? Yeah. The body just breaks down on you. I don't wanna experience that. You're breaking down uh, quicker now, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it don't matter. You work out your whole life, you try to eat right, you're still gonna get fucked up out here. Yeah, look at LeBron James and shit. 38 years old, thinks he played basketball for the rest of his life, you know? His body, his body is, his body is breaking down. It has a lot to do with the food, man. Yeah. Chemtrails, it has a lot to do with all of that. You know, that's why the Lord said, if, if, if he didn't shorten the days, there would be no flesh to be saved, man. Everybody would be dead out this motherfucker. Yeah. But that's more of a reason to cry to the Lord, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's more of a reason, man. Yeah. Shit, man. We got to get out of here, yo. This shit is like a nightmare that don't end. Yeah. yeah. Just wake it up every morning to an alarm clock is is, is harming. It's detrimental to your, your health. Being stuck being stuck in traffic all the goddamn oh, time is God, yeah. is detrimental <laughs> to your health. Clearly, they did oh, a yeah. study. Yeah. They did a study on it. It makes makes it uh, passive aggressive. Uh, we just take it. Yeah. Like goddamn, I'm just trying to go to the store. There's a goddamn traffic. It's to be over the smallest thing like a road construction or yeah. someone that don't know how to just goddamn live parallel crash. parallel park. And two, when you when you're in your car, you stuck in traffic. You're in all that exhaust, you know. You're oh, supposed man. you're supposed to put your your um, yeah, that car thing. The, the, uh, circulating the air on the oh, inside. Yeah. You're supposed so, to put that on. Learn that from TikTok. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I didn't right? know that. Yeah, bro, you're supposed to put that on. Yeah. yeah. You know, I started doing that because I be smelling it. You know, and I'm like, damn. I try to roll the windows down, but that's what you do. You put the inner circulating air on, so the air circulates inside. Yeah, it's got on TikTok that broke that whole thing down. Yeah. About that button. Yeah. Circulating there. Yeah, but yeah. you learn a lot from TikTok, yeah. bro. And let's not forget about people smoke cigarettes. Oh, that's all. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and, you know? and weed, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, shit. Weed and cigarettes. Yeah, cigarettes is worse than weed, man. Yeah, when you're behind someone and you see them smoke cigarettes, like, come on, man. Yeah. People that live under me, they always on the patio smoking. It's like, goddamn, dude, I'm always having to close my windows. It's like, come on, man. It's crazy because they know they're smoking cancer. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's like they bro. know. That's why I wanted. You know? That's what I. That's why I told her. You know, you're smoking you know? bullshit, right? Why are you smoking this? Do give me a whole life story. All right, man. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, man. The truth about cigarettes has been out since what the 70s, 80s. We all have that health health class. Yeah. Back in uh, elementary school, middle uh, school, yeah, everybody bro. knows about the dangers of cigarettes. These motherfuckers still want to smoke this shit. Yeah. Remember those uh, commercials? Yeah. Look at that. The whole thing. I remember that shit. That shit traumatized me, bro. Yeah. 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 Hey, fucking yeah. those cigarettes, bro. Yeah. What are you talking like yeah. that? I remember when they when they didn't have the warning on the pack. Yeah. Uh, okay. They didn't have. It wasn't a warning on the cigarette. You know, saying this caused cancer. At one point, you know. Lay on. Put it on here. You know. That one. Oh, you didn't see it? Oh, the truck. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, them, them, I used to work, when I used to work retail, I used to look at them prices. This is years ago, yeah, man. Yeah. The prices of them cigarettes is uh, crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine how much people spend on these packs of cigarettes yeah. today. Yeah. It got to be at least 15 bucks. Yeah. You know, at yeah. least, bro, a yeah. pack. And people smoke so, packs. They smoke more than a pack a yeah, day. a lot of people smoke. Day, they call man. them chain smokers? Chain smokers. Yeah. That's crazy, man. And then, you know what it is now? It's not even cigarettes no more. It's uh, vaping. Vaping, vaping man. Worse. It's vaping now, bro. Yeah. And 
And them motherfuckers is like crackheads with that bacon oh, yeah. shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, they man. think they cool. You know, I had a fucking, yeah. I have an older brother, man. Let's call him Team of the Demon. This nigga's a damn demon. I have seen him like some time back. This motherfucker gotta hit that bait all the time, man. Non stop. I'm like, damn, he's like a crackhead, man. Yeah, that's you know? vaping. That vaping is like 10 times worse than cigarettes, man. We see when they blow that huge plume of smoke. Yeah. All that's going in them, you know? It's worse than cigarettes. Wow. And it's nicotine too, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah. It's nicotine. People are fucking retarded, you know, man. That's a demon, though. That's a heavy demon that's a smoke. demon, bro. yeah. You know, I used to smoke them cigarettes. The Lord got that demon off of me, though. I pray for the Lord and thank the Lord every day he got that shit off me. And then when I uh, go around people that smoke, you know, and and they go out, they come back in, they smell, and man. you smell them, I was yeah. like, damn, I used to smell like that? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that's another deterrent for me. Like, I don't want to smell like that. That shit is that's funky. A, that's a horrible that's smell. That's nasty. Same with the weed, bro. I used to, yep. I used to smell like weed, man. Yeah. Thinking I'm, I smell good. Yeah. Hell no, nah, you don't smell good. You smell yeah. fucking horrible, man. That's horrible. Yeah. Uh, back in Second Ezra 15 and 7. Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more, as touching their wickedness, which they have profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Hey, everything's being everything's being reproved, man. Yeah. You know? That's why the scripture said they hated them that reprove at the gate. Yeah. Have I become an enemy because I, I tell you the truth? Now rebuke it at the gate, man. Hey, the way he's holding his tongue no more is through the, you know, our apostles, our elders, on down, man. You know, hey, the prophets, this truth is out there. All right, the Lord is, is using us, you know, as a means, you know, to, like the brother say, to prove our people, man. Yeah. All right, to show them that, hey, you know, this is the darkness, man. If they continue, they're going to die. Yeah. All right? Hey, that's a beautiful thing that the Lord is putting out warning to the people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's beautiful. Mercy, bro. That's mercy like a bug, man. Okay, because with everything that's happening, there seem to be no answers, okay? But there are answers and solutions right here. Right in front of you. Right here in front of you. You know, it's only up to you to take care. They don't, they don't want the solution, bro. Okay. They want to they please that flesh. Right. Hey, for some of them, the solution is just a straight up guy. Exactly. You know, well, hey, Zachariah, yeah. man, he speaks about that, man. Two thirds, man, you know, they just need to cut off and die. I can always bring out that Iron Legend, man. Yeah. The Iron Legend dog, uh, Sam, Sam, Samantha, the dog that he had. Oh, okay. Bishop started turning to a zombie. You know, he had to do what he had to do. That was a mercy kill. Yep. Yeah. That's the best thing for that little dog because he was turning on him. Yeah. You can't wake up someone you, who, who can't, who can't be woken. Who can't be woken. Exactly. Well, who can make a crooked thing straight? Okay, if the Most High made you a two-third, then that's what you are. You're going to suffer the two-thirds fate. My oldest brother said that. He said, I guess I'm a two-third fan. Man, well, there you go, then. Keep on moving. Keep it moving. And, and he right. Yeah. You know, exactly. you can't reverse what the most high did. Yeah. I used to talk to my brother about, you know, the truth. When my I died? Yeah. And he told me, he's like, you know, you have to be called for those type of things. Right. <laughs> I couldn't say nothing. What could I say? You right. You right when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. Yeah, that's the truth. You have to be called, man. Yeah. You know, it, it really is a calling too, though. Yeah. Exactly. You know, we're blessed to be here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Blessed you know. to be able to experience the pain that we experience. Man. I'd rather experience this pain than experience this oh, yeah. this pain out here. You don't even know why you're experiencing it. Mm. You know? Yeah. Like you listen to Jake's music, right? Like Tupac. I like Tupac, you know? I like a lot of old music, you know? And, uh, you know, he's always asking questions, you know? Why, why, why? God this, God that. Why am I experiencing this? Why we grow up like this? Man, the scriptures tell you everything, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But when that nigga had a chance, you know, he actually was in Town Square. Time, what is it called? Times Square? Yeah, Town Square. When the, where, where the apostles and, I mean, the uh, the men of the Lord were out mm -hmm. there breaking down these things, so these curses and why we, didn't he didn't want nothing to do with that. Right. What do you want? You want you want this world, man. You want fame and riches, man. Yeah, it's a uh, book of Second Corinthians four and uh, four sixteen. It says, "For which cause we faint not, 
But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Yep, that's the focus. The Lord is building up our, our spirit, you yeah. know, to endure what's about to come. Because best believe it's coming. Yeah. And we may be going through all these different aches, man, these, these different uh, pains, man. But, hey, man, the spirit is constantly being renewed, man. We're constantly, every day, being strengthened, growing in this faith of ours, man. All right? Even if you don't realize how you're being built up, you are. Yeah. By us coming out here, us diligently doing our lessons, you know, us, uh, uh, you know, trying our best to, to walk righteously, that's, that's doing a lot. So then less, yeah. You enduring trials and tribulations, that's doing a lot for you, man. Go ahead. It says... For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Scriptures call it light affliction, man. Yeah. And it's really judgment. Uh, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I sin against him. Yeah. You know, that's the mindset. And do a hardness as a good soldier. Uh, the Lord will put nothing on us but he, that we can't handle, but with the temptation, he'll make a way for us to escape yeah. so that we're able to bear it, man. These are the scriptures that got to come to mind. Hey, there, there, there's a reason for all that pain, man. Yep. You know, like it says in Hebrews, man, you know, it, it doesn't seem like joyous at the time, man. Oh, it ain't joyous at all. Yeah. <laughs> to go through this, you know, this chastening. What did uh, Muhammad Ali say? He said, I hated every every minute of training. Yeah. But I said, uh, suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion, man. Yeah. Woo! That's our mindset. Lose now so we can win later, man. Yeah. You know, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't joyous, man. It don't feel good. It don't feel good, man, when you taking L's and having to experience, having to be here day to day, going to work and, you know, watching these people live it up while you suffering, man, it don't feel good, man. Huh? It don't feel good having to walk Christly in a wicked world. You know, it don't feel good for, your, for a woman to be your fucking boss. It don't feel good, man. You know, it don't feel good seeing homosexuals and dykes every goddamn where you go. You gotta watch what you eat. That shit don't feel good. Nah. Okay? But we know where it's all headed, man. We know the end of it all, man. The end of it all is, 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 is this world gonna be judged and, 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 and a better world is coming, man. New heaven and new earth. New heaven and new earth. Where we dwell in righteousness. That's it. Where you can actually take a breath and shit. <laughs> Let well, your you, kids yeah, you ain't, back. You, know? you ain't being attacked on every yeah, front. Like the woman ain't against you. You can enjoy your children. Yeah. You can actually have children, you know? In this place, you don't want to have children. Hell no, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got, you can't even, you got to watch out for the woman in this world. You can't yeah. even really, you know, find a, a cool woman to be with yeah. in this world, man. Hell no, bro. Bitch will turn on you in a second. I be telling my fuckers all the time, like, man, I can't find You don't know about these American yeah, women. You don't but know. they had that song, American woman stay, stay away from me, man. Yeah. Go ahead. And so yeah, in the spirit like the apostle Paul was saying, it says, uh, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Right, this is but for a moment, man. That's what we and that's something we know. We ain't gonna live like this forever, man. Temporary pain, man. For everlasting joy, man, for everlasting bliss. Yeah. I'll take this Pleasure over over trying more. to trying to trying to have some uh what's the scripture say? Pleasure of, sin, pleasure of sin for a season. For a season, for a season I'll take this pain for a season over this pleasure of sin for a season. Yeah, right. keep word season. Uh -huh. yeah, season, season, man. You know? This is this. Is, hey, man. Before we know, we're gonna be out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, it's gonna be behind us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bro, you don't. So people don't see what's going on in America with all the immigrants flooding the borders, with the economy uh, in crisis and the banks. Failing. They don't see that. This shit is over. They ignore it, bro. That's on them. Hey, we're, we're not designed to be under these nations forever, man. You know, we're not going to be slaves for you know eternity under these nations. It wasn't a life sentence. Yeah, no. Hey, we, gotta, we got a release date. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't know it, you know? We don't know our release date, you know? We got someone to pick us up, Lord Lord. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, usually... Like these celebrities, when they when they get released from, from prison, you know, it's a big old ordeal. Yeah. You know? It's a big old deal. They get on the private jets and all of that. <laughs> so we ain't on no private jets, but hey, our Lord and Savior, Jerry. our shot is going to come back with the chariots. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be out this boy in style, man. Yeah, probably should. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We 
came in ships and we're going to leave in ships. <laughs> Beautiful. It says, uh, it worketh for us, it says, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. All right, we, if we endure, we see the end of this thing. Hey, best believe, best believe, man, that the joy is going to outweigh the pain, man. Best believe it, man. Yeah. Best believe, you know, the Lord going to reward us for all the sacrifices, all the all the uh, sufferings, man. Best believe it, man. You know, we're talking about Yahweh by Shana Rashad here, man. We're talking about uh, the Creator, man. Yeah. Come on, man. You know the Lord going wild with us, man. No, no eyes have seen, no ears have heard. Yeah, bro. The Lord has in store for his men. Yeah. You know? That's something to look forward to, man. You know? You know? It's better than anything he saw, I can promise you. Yeah. Shit. I'll take that any day. Verse 18. And what? then we're already here anyway. Yeah. What choice do we have? What, you gonna go back into the world? Tradition. Hell no, nah, man. You better continue on the, on the right path. <laughs> Shit, we ain't, we already we already in too deep. Ain't no going back. Yeah. Fuck that. I ain't entertaining no going back to this faggot ass world. There's nothing to go back to. Yeah, nothing to go back you to. You know what I'm saying? I don't nothing. fuck with nobody in the world, man. So I don't, I don't have no connections to this world. I'm good. Go ahead. It's verse 18. It says, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. All right, so this is all periodic. Yeah. So it's all seasonal, man. Yeah. And it takes faith to look at things that you haven't seen. Right. That is faith, bro. It takes that a is. lot of faith. That's the definition. Yeah, that's yeah. faith right there. Yeah. But that, hey, Romans, get that, Romans 8, 24. Yeah. Uh, hope, things that are not seen, you know. So the book of Romans 8 and 24, it says, For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. Right. Keep going. For what a man seeth, what that he yet hope for. Right. That's like you, bro. You know, you got that new whip. You're already rolling in the new whip. You can't say, oh, I hope I get this new whip. You're already in the whip. Where the hope at? <laughs> but before you had it, yeah. like you said, you wanted a year ago, you already had your mind. You was hoping for it, you know? Uh, uh. But now you got it. Ain't no need to hope. You know, so read it again. Yeah. Or even like a honey. You might want a honey, you know, a bad little honey that you're interested in. And you hoping to stab it one day. And once you stab it, you ain't got to hope no more for it, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Stab it meaning intercourse. Go ahead. Yeah. It says uh, Romans 8 and 20, uh, 24. It says, for we are saved by hope. The hope that is seen is not hope. For when a man see it, why does he yet hope for it? Right? Yeah, a lot of people put their hope in this world. Hope in the riches of this world and what this world has to offer them. And because they can see it. Yeah. They can see other people have riches, other people have their life. Yeah. So they work to attain that. They don't like you know? Okay. Yeah, like the Apostle Paul said in the, the book of Corinthians, man, you know. All this that you see, it's temporal. Man, it's gonna be burned up by thermonuclear destruction. Yeah, Peter says, uh, and Peter said all the works they're in. So everything that you work for in this world, from cars, from money, from houses, women, even your own clothes is gonna get burnt up. Yeah, and yeah. That, that was a vivid description, man. He said the elements, man, are gonna melt their own, man. It's gonna dissolve. And, and even before that, when you go to 2nd Edge 16, it says those that possess, Merchandise is not, is not like, uh, worth the paraphrasing it. Those that possess is not those that will actually like basically enjoy it. Yeah. You know? Those that sell will like make no, uh, profit? Yeah, profit from their, you know, from their selling. And he that have merchandise as if he had none. Worth yeah, there you go. There you go. That's, uh, uh, he that, uh, had the wife is like, uh, he had none. Had none. Those that have children, will not be able to uh, basically enjoy because it will be given to the famine and for the captivity. So all these things that people work so hard, like the American dream, have a house, have a wife, uh, have kids, all that's going to come to naught, man. Yeah, hope, hope is going to keep us alive, man. Hope is, is keeping us right now. Yeah. 
that hope, man. You know, hey, without vision, the people, they perish, man. You know, hey, we need to see the end goal, man. You know, hey, we need to keep our, 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 our eyes single, like it says in Matthew, man. Right. That, that's, that's what's going to keep us, you know, you know Lord's will over, to overcome at the end. I right. got a precept, I think. Yeah. It's, uh, let's get uh, 25. It says, but if we hope for that which we see not, then do we have with patience wait for it? Yep. So we have an applied patience, man. Yeah. And that's something that you learn and develop in this truth and pray for in this truth. It's patience, man. That's really all it is. We know it's coming. We know it's coming. It's not, it's not a day that go by. I don't... I don't I'm not over here thinking like, oh, it's not going to happen. No, it's going to happen, man. It's just a matter of when is it going to happen, you know? So we know it's going to happen. We just got to wait for it, man. That's right. Yeah. You know, which is the hardest part, man. Waiting for it, man. Well, we know it's soon. We know it's soon. How? Through the prophecies, man. Mm -hmm. We always say that's why you got to be on the lookout. We got to keep mm -hmm. that watch. Yeah. Watch as well as praying, man. Because that's going to fuel that hope. Yeah. You know, you seeing the Lord do things, that's going to fuel your hope. Like, all right, man, we're going to get out of here soon. Me, I try not to get too excited, man. I learned early in the truth, you can't really get too excited over all these things that are happening. Because, hey, it's going to happen when it's going to happen. Yeah. I watch it, I see it. It's like, yeah. okay. You know, yeah. you know, if it's, you know, it's going to happen when it happens. Yeah. I don't get too excited over a lot of things. But that 2020, though? That shut down up? Oh man, I was hella excited. Boy. I don't think I ever been so excited, man, honestly. You know? I got a precept. Uh Hebrews 12 and 2. We do this by keeping our you know our stuff. Uh Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight in the sin which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. That's right. Patience. patience. It goes back to suffering. Yeah. You know? That's why that prayer is important, man. You know, a lot of people, man, you know, they, they don't want to go through suffering. Right? You know, they, they tire out. You know, and that that's, they ultimately end up dying out because, you know, they weren't praying. They weren't doing what they were supposed to. They weren't watching, you know? This is the point. Looking unto you, how was shy the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, which was him, him sitting on the right hand of his father, Yahweh, and having all the spirits uh, being subject under him. All right, you can read that in Hebrews. It says, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Because he knew, Yahweh Shai knew that what he had to suffer. He knew the pain that he had to feel. Get, uh, okay. First Peter, uh, one and eleven, or one and ten. But what Yahweh had was vision, because he saw right. what was gonna happen to him if he endured that pain. So we have, we, we have, right? We have to have vision because it's in the scriptures what we're gonna receive if we endure unto the end. And the first reward is salvation. Or he that endureth unto the end. It's all about enduring. Okay, it doesn't matter how how you start. It's about how you finish. And that's the goal, you want to finish. It says the first verse about this race, all right? And this race is not a, a, a race where you go full speed, okay? You got to pace yourself. You got to pace yourself for the things you're going to endure. You got you to gotta take this race as a long, uh, as a long uh, what's that track term? Long Marathon. Marathon, yeah. not a sprint, okay? You got to be willing to brace yourself. For the things you have to, that you're gonna have to endure to make it to the end, okay. But well, verse two again, looking onto Yahweh Shah, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh, okay. So, despising what Yahweh Shah went through, the, you know, the shame that he had to, to suffer the cross that he had to bear. He was able to endure it because he saw he had, he had he saw the joy that he was going to receive. So Yahweh Shai being our greatest example, we we can learn from him. All right, he's our greatest example how to be, how to please the Father, how to walk in his faith. Okay, how to endure. Okay, because what Yahweh Shai went through, no man could went well went through what our Lord went through, man.
strength. Everything's according to your strength. Right. He's the strongest. And some, some, that's why some bros go through things worse than others. Because what, what, like the brother read in Corinthians, um, the Lord knows what we can bear. He doesn't put nothing on us that we cannot handle. Certain brothers can handle losing a woman. Certain brothers can't. As an example, certain brothers can handle not having a lot of money. Certain brothers can't. The Lord knows all. He knows our mind. Okay? And that's one thing we got to consider. Okay? Despite how hard it may seem, it may be difficult. It may seem hard, but if, if you're in that moment, if you're going through it, the Lord knows I can probably handle it. You know? Right, none of us have the same experiences. Yeah. You grew up one way, I grew up one way, next man grew up another way. And all these experiences shaped us and molded us into who we are, man. So if we all have different strengths, different weaknesses, and everyone's different. You can't compare yourself to the next man. Yeah. Because he okay. wasn't his parents are not you didn't have the same parents as him. Right. You know, you didn't start your start wasn't like his. You know, you didn't have you know, everything's different, man. Even growing up in a different region. You know, don't yep. run up in different time era. You know, shapes your personality. You know, so fuck comparing yourself to the next brother, man. Hey, uh, something Elder Brock always teaches, man. It's uh, it's important to have perspective as well, man. Be grateful for what you do, man. You know? Yeah. Oh, always, man. man. Hey, it's it's what the Lord, you know, given you. You know, uh, you, you tend to a lot of you know focus a lot on the negative, but hey. They think upon the positive. Yeah. Oh, like one time, I was short on cheese, and I was I was I forgot to make my lunch, and I was able I wasn't able to get some lunch, but I was able I was close to my house, and I was able to we didn't have no food, but I was able to scratch up certain things, and you know that helped me get through the day. And I'm like, man, I may not have money right now, but shit, at least I'm eating, cause there's certain people in my position I can't even get no food. Like that one day that got choked out in New York. He had no money. He had no money. He wasn't able to get food. You know? So it's always something to be grateful about. Because there's always someone being put in a worse position. Yeah. You know? And hey, that's why the Lord said, what? Give us this day our daily bread, man. You know, you be happy for the daily bread that you get. The Lord, the Lord going to feed you. You know, like you said, the, the birds don't have a storehouse where they got food stored up. You know, but the Lord feeds them every day. Every bird. One more is meant. Exactly. Wow, every bird. Okay. Yeah. You wanted that first Peter's? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's uh, the book of first Peter's chapter one, verse ten. Let me see. Let go. Star six. Okay. It's first Peter's chapter one, verse six. It says, We're in, he greatly rejoiced. Though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptation. Right, we're dealing with a lot. So we are in heaviness. You know, might be dealing with financial troubles or woman problems, whatever the hell it is. Mm. We're all in heaviness. We're all dealing with something. Well, yeah. yeah. It says the Should we dealing with ourselves? God damn it, that's enough. Yeah. Well, yeah. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than a gold that perishes. That's 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 it right there. Yeah. It's the trial of your faith. The Lord saying, do we really believe or not, man? Yeah. All right, and we, we, the hardest test as it came. Right. You know? Yeah. Go ahead. It says, though if he tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Right, we're 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 in the fire, man. Yeah. You expect a fire to be pleasant? Hey, hell no, nah, man. Fire is hot, uncomfortable, man. Yeah. Okay, but this is the only way that we're gonna be able to become acceptable, man. Yeah. Yahweh yeah, Shai went to the fire. Exactly. Yeah. You know, when you come to the fire, the first thing you want to do is flee away from it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get away. Mm. But you gotta know how to thrive within the fire yeah you gotta know how to move within that fire man yeah. you gotta know how to you gotta know how to take it man fuck it man you know how your good days and your bad days man fuck it man trusting in y'all about you outside man i got a precept 
I mean, the NLT as well. But Proverbs 17, Proverbs 17 and 3. The finding pot is for the silver and the furnace for gold. The Lord tried the hearts. And yeah. the NLT, fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but the Lord tests the hearts. All right, so the Lord is testing our character, our faith, our integrity, all of it, man. It's all being. Yeah, you, yeah your integrity. Uh, what you say? Like the scriptures speak about the fire, you know, stubble, different elements, different stones, seeing what you are, man. Mm -hmm. It's going to reveal every man. Right. Go ahead. It says that it might be found unto praise and honor and the glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai of Mashiach. Who Tupac that? is a big deal off this motherfucker, man. Another Tupac. Oh, yeah. Man. That motherfucker big, man. 20-something years later, that motherfucker's right. still big. You already counted, man. Huh? And my humble opinion, greatest rapper ever. Go ahead. Nah, Biggie. <laughs> nah, Biggie's Biggie second, bro. Nah. Tupac put Biggie on, bro. Let's it's, go. It says, whom having not seen, ye love. And then plus, Tupac, in a span of five, six years, did like 700 songs. He only had two albums. Ah, you're right. This you're nigga, right. this nigga, okay. Tupac had like uh, he knew that he knew he was gonna be gone, so he just made sure it's nobody gonna be able to fuck with him, man. And then to this day, name me another rapper that was able to fuck with Pac. I, don't, I, I can't name. Him. Maybe I'm biased. I'm on the West Coast. I don't know. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. It says verse eight. The nigga dead regardless. Go ahead. It says whom having not seen, he loved. Right, verse seven again. Yeah, verse seven. It says the trial of your faith being much more precious. Then of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. All right, man, it's going. Man, just imagine that, man. Imagine keeping your faith all the way up to that day, man. Ooh. Yeah. That's why I be picturing, man. Like, yeah. I just want the Lord to just, you know, just, just, just be yeah. pleased with me, man. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, and crown you, man. That's, that's what, that's man. what Peter's talking about, man. Go ahead. It says, whom having not seen, he loved. Right, get that one, uh, Levi and, uh, and uh, the Hedris, where it says, we haven't seen him with bodily eyes, but in the spirit we believe his words. Right, read that again. Yeah. It says, whom having not seen, he loved. Whom having not seen, we haven't seen the Lord, not in this lifetime, yeah. but we love him. How do we know we love him? Right. We do what he says. Exactly. Yeah. We do what the Lord says to the best of our ability, man. Go ahead. It says, in whom though now ye see him not, yet believing. Yeah, that's faith. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's faith. To believe. How does it go? Uh, just type in bodily eyes. B-O-D-I-L-Y. Okay, I got it. You know, a lot of people look at you crazy, man, for believing in something that uh, you can't physically prove, man. Right. But hey, man, hey, we, we see everything being played out, man. And we, we that, see that tunnel vision. Yeah. That uh, vision. And it ain't for everybody, to, yeah. you know? Yeah. It ain't for you. If you can't see it, it ain't for you, dog. Right. Yeah. We're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got it. Go ahead, Ock. First, second Ezra's 1 and 37. I take to witness the grace of the people to come whose little ones rejoice in gladness, uh -huh. and, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes. Right, we haven't seen the Lord with our, our actual fleshly eyes, man. We ain't, I, I, I can see you, you know? Right, exactly. I'm not, I, we haven't seen the Lord, man. We, have, you know, we haven't been able to see the Lord, man, with our bodily eyes and his flesh. Go ahead. Yet they shout, oh, it's lucky. Yet in spirit, they believe the thing that I say. Yeah, and yet in spirit, we believe, man. Yeah. Right? Isn't that what the Lord told Thomas? Yeah. Blessed, blessed are they that, uh, that, 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 that see, best, not, see not still believe. and yeah. believe, man. Because Thomas, yeah. Thomas was like, I ain't going to believe it till I see the holes in them and all of that. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? That's but I was come just. Up with the term doubting Thomas. Yeah, hey, doubt. but that was just the portion of faith that the Thomas Lord gave, you know, Thomas, you know? But is that, that don't mean he's not a man of the Lord. Right. It's just different measures of faith, man. Yeah, exactly. you got brothers that have high level of faith. Yeah, you got brothers that have low level, uh, you know, faith, but not as high as 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 um as, next uh, man. as the next man. But you yeah. also have you can have you got you can believe ultimately, right? Ultimately, Thomas believed in the Lord. We yeah. know that. Yeah. Like 
like uh, 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 Zechariah, John, uh, John the Baptist's father. Ultimately, he believed in the Lord. But in that moment, he didn't believe. So in that moment, when Peter and all of them came, Thomas like, look, we've seen the Lord. Da -da 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 -da. He didn't believe, man. And you don't, you don't want that. You want to be believing in all moments, man. All moments. You can come through it, bro. Go ahead. Yeah. It says, uh, in whom thou, now you see him not yet believing, yea, rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. All right. Go ahead. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. That's the end of our faith. The salvation of our souls. All right. The salvation breaks down to the saving of your soul. Because what's gonna be, what's gonna make you out of here? Your soul. Exactly. Everything else is gonna stay behind. Your flesh gonna be changed. Yep. Yep. Only your soul gonna be able to receive that salvation, man. The Lord gonna take you from one, one, one house to the next house, man. You gonna go from you gonna go from this fucking ghetto, this this these projects to the to the mansion, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, from rags to riches. To rags to riches. <laughs> you know, speaking of these bodies, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, but that's that's part of the reward, man. Don't you want that? I want that, man. I want to experience just being able to use my mind, man. Man. You know. Man. I want to experience just. That perfect peace, man. That that, oh, yeah. that that hundred percent righteousness, man. Yeah. yeah. You know? Go ahead. You said you want to experience that calmness from your mind, you said? That peace? Yeah. 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 Without yeah. Satan yeah. trying to come yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Or just yeah. doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Depression. All of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead. And just knowing that you are the Lord rocking with you like that. <laughs> you gonna know. Look, you chose. Right now, you know, we hopeful, you know? Yeah, yeah. But in that moment, if you make it out of here, you know, oh man, I was chosen from the beginning. What? Man. The yeah. Lord rocking with me like that? Okay. Man. You know? You're gonna know that it was all it wasn't all just in vain, man. Right. You really were called to be delivered, man. Because right now we really don't know. We're really walking by faith, man. Go ahead. Verse 10. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Right? Here's Cer the point. Here's the point. Yeah. It says, searching what, for what manner of time the spirit of the Hamashiach, which was in them, did signify. Uh -huh. When it testified beforehand the sufferings of Yahweh uh -huh. and the glory that should follow. Yeah, I brought that up because you brought that Hebrews out, uh, uh, Hebrews 12. So read that, that last part again. Uh, the yeah. sufferings first, and then the. Uh, it says, uh, my bad. Glory, I think. It says, uh, the spirit of Yahweh shine, which was in the, which is in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Yahweh shine and the glory that should follow. All right, so the sufferings came first. Yeah. The sufferings are first, man. And then the glory follows, man. What, what does the script say? Uh, before honor is humility. Right. Yeah. So this, 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 this is our humbling stage right here. Yeah. Man. That's how it should be to see if you're worthy of, of just inquiring of it. Right? Yep. Yep. Attaining it. Yep. The script says, prove a friend. Oh, yeah, prove a friend. You, you don't want to be like that chick on, uh, well, I really like that fucking movie too, uh, Pursuit of Happiness. Oh, okay. His dude was down and out. Will Smith's character was down and out. Yeah. His woman left him. Yeah. But when he became a millionaire, she was she wasn't she wasn't able to enjoy that you know but if she would have stuck by his side when he came up she would come up yeah. so we we try to come up when the lord come up man. right yeah you yeah, know so for what hey, so for you how shy you're gonna rain. be able to reign have that joy as long as i with him yeah second partake. timothy's grab that second timothy 2 and 11 i know you got some up you know we suffer when we should also reign with him man and Yahushua yeah. kept telling the disciples, like, look, I'm going to have to suffer death to be risen. He kept telling them, like, look, I'm gonna, the Son of Man is going to die and be risen again. They didn't hear it. They didn't hear it. The Lord didn't open their eyes for them to understand right then and there. After he passed and rose up, that's when they understood. Go ahead, Ock. So I'm just going into, you know, enduring, you know, the Philippians 1 and 20. I'll read it in the NLT as well. According to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, 
but that with all boldness as always. So now also Yahweh Shai shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. So the NLT, therefore I fully expect and hope that I will never be ashamed, but that I will continue to be bold for Yahweh Shai as I have been in the past. And I trust that my life will bring honor to Yahweh Shai whether I live or die. So yeah, so we just want to just you know, stay bold in this truth, man. You know, we don't want to get ashamed and you know, fall out or whatever. We get, you know, disenchanted. But we want to continue to endure, you know, all the way up into the end, Lord will, you know? Yeah, that's it. My body. Wait, when he takes off his phone, you can put it on the stand. Oh, okay, you sure? Yeah. Uh, you get help, bro. You got it? I would say just hold it out. Oh, yeah, you need to read. It's, it's a, it just it just sounds better up here, you know. Hey, you know how to flip? Let's flip. Oh, you want? No, no, I don't know how to flip it, bro. Oh, you got it. Hey, can you read that in the, in the NLT again? Is that uh, yeah. yeah. It's all about doing right by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Right on. You know, that's all ultimately that you can do here, man. All right, you know, who else are you going to do right by? Man? You know, your, your creator is the one who's uh, giving you life. All right? Yeah. I got a precept. 
Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 9. And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Hey, so hey, the Lord, man, you know, he's coming back for us, man. Like it says in Zephaniah, wait till uh, he arises, he comes That's right. back. That's right. All right. He rises up to the fray, man. All right, it, it, it's any moment now. So we see, it, we see everything that's going on right now, man. All right, fuck, man. People are the, the mass shootings, man. These uproars. All right, uh, every, these wars, these rumors of wars. All right, man. We see these prophecies, you know, being fulfilled, man. We're still in captivity. We're still in captivity. Wait till I rise up to the fray, man. Yeah. The one person that's gonna get us out of here is how we shot. You know, you go go out, select a couple guns, so you can shoot up these all, you know. Yeah, we're still in a curse. Yeah. We have no power, we have no might. Yeah. We have we still have to go to the enemy for the one of all things. You know, he's still subject to payments off this month, you know? It's uh Proverbs 20 and 22. Say not thou, I will recompense evil. But wait on the Lord, and he shall save thee. Yep. It's all about wait, waiting and suffering for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, for that ultimate, you know, uh, goal of salvation. Right. That, that's, all we, that's all we want. That's all that's in our minds. All right. That helmet. That helmet, yeah. Salvation. Precept. Psalm 27 and 14. Wait on the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Yeah, on the days where it seems hard, man, you know, that's when we need to pay. That's when we need the Lord, you know, the most. Right. You know, that constant prayer, that fervent prayer. Strengthen thine heart. Strengthen your mind, you know? Yeah. The brothers going into earlier today. We're going to get stronger in this thing, man. We can't help but to get stronger. That's what it's all about. It's like uh, working out. When you get pain, after the pain, uh, with the pain, you're stronger. Yeah, that's good pain. That's good pain. That's good money, like Jacob said. That's good money. Good yeah, I, got, I got something for you. Yeah, yeah, uh, Psalms chapter 12, verse 5. For the abortion, for the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, now will I arise, said the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. Yeah. It's not like the Lord's not hearing him, man. You know, he, he's coming, he, and he's coming quickly, man. All right, to pu punish those, you know, that, that did wrong by us, man. Yeah. You know, to us. It says, for the sign of the needy, that's us. Yeah. We sign and cry unto Yahweh Shemar Shai, we sign for help. You know? Yeah, man. It says, now will I arise, said the Lord. The Lord's going to do something about us uh, crying and signing to him, man. He's going to move on Esau. And I will set him in safety from him that puppet at him. And the Lord gonna deliver us from the hand of our enemies. Who's the one that puppet at us? Esau. When you puff somebody, it's like you're trying to punk them. You're trying to hurt them. You're trying to harm them. And the Lord gonna save us from this damn devil, man. And he's proud. He's proud against us.
So we need our shot to come back. Isaiah 13, 1. Word of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see, lifting up a banner on the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go to the gates of the, of the nobles. Yeah. And that, that's the thing that they despise the most, man, that this truth is getting out there. All right, that, that's the thing that they're trying to prevent the folks. But it, it, there, there's no stopping this thing. Oh, this ain't no stopping this now. Hey, what's this been? <laughs> yeah, once it's been opened, man, you know, it, it, there's no sealing it back. Yeah. Lifting up the banner. This is that banner. This is that sign. That signal. We're going into about how you know, we got to give the warning to people. Let the people know who they are. Negroes, Latinos, here in America. Right. Bad times are coming. We talk about a time of chicken and trouble. You know? That's a broken record. Every week we say the same thing. Hey, you ever, ever see those ancient movies that they go to war and they got the banners with them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you know, you know uh, what military that is or what ruler that is? Hey, yeah. this, is, this is our banner, man. Well, yeah. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones by my name. Even them that rejoice in my highness. Noise of the multitude in the mountains, like as the great people. As much was noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts must be the host of the battle. us as we're to pray. Okay, and he's going to come swiftly. Alright, because he knows, like the brother said, he knows that his time is short. He knows the owner. It's one of he's going to come him. after those that he knows are the next to Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, keep us away from these different elements, man. Alright, you know, it's medicine, you know, from the earth. You know, given to us by the Lord. We saw no spot though. natural healing and brought in um brought in all these doctors that really don't really heal you but make you sick man or yeah. keep yeah. you yeah. sick but that's yeah. sick. that's what it is bro you treat it you're gonna be treated you can't even talk about that because they're gonna say it's medical information bro. yeah i mean disinformation bro. i have a place where i've been over here in chain ago they told me well you're on the verge of being you know oh you're not a dick you got so i said okay well I'm not going to take any of your stuff. I'll just go to the gym. Then they told me again, you're still that way. I said, where are you measuring me at? It's years. I've been going to the gym forever. That's a big insulin burner. That's a big way of burning sugar. It's going to the gym. She said, are you taking steroids? No. Where are you measuring me at that you say? That, but I think that that's how they target Jake and everybody else to get them a pharmaceuticals. They put you on a different level when they measure you. Yeah, so they, it's all about money. You got doctors that uh, tell you, tell, them, tell a woman you can't get pregnant, and all of a sudden, they get pregnant. You Jake know? will leave them, though. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. thing. Jake, yeah. Jake will not do their own research. Yeah, yeah. they believe you know? the doctor word for word because he got a degree. Nah, man, you got to do your own research. Doctor means falsifying. Right. right. So you got you to gotta be your own physician. Yeah. And that's something that the apostles have taught us. You know, you get into the herb, you get into the, you know, fixing yourself. Yep. You know, because all these, all diseases and all these illnesses are reversible. Yeah. You know, the Even Lord, you got to keep reading on that Sirach 38, because the yeah. Lord, He gave all the, the, the medicines on the earth that will reverse all these illnesses. Yeah. Then you got to remember, you want to alkalize your body, man. You know, uh, uh, diseases can't thrive in an alkalized body. They only uh, thrive in an acidic body. So if you pound the juice and sugary drinks all goddamn day, that shit gonna go against you. If you're just drinking water though, a lot of benefits for water, man. Although the water's all fucked up, but still, some benefits there. Yeah. Because your brain, I'm sorry, your brain needs a lot of water, man. Yeah. And body's made up a lot of water. Yeah. It does cost money, but it's worth it. That's it. That's by design. They purposely make it like that, bro. Yeah. bro yeah. I, I be buying herbs, bro. Shit, I buy two or three. That's almost seventy dollars. God damn. Yeah. Okay, bro. You get a, you get a, you get some. Well, these supplements are using bullshit too. Nah, you're not getting pure potent. Yeah, no. They're, they're been, watered down version. Bro, so, I've been taking the zinc. They say it's a hundred. Make a, make a infection and 
of his work, there is no end. Like, uh, Jews like Dr. Sadie, they mix all these uh, herbs together to create, like, hair products, cure uh, cancer, uh, tell you to take this with this, black seed oil, and, uh, uh, olive oil, a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. The Lord has created men like that out there. And it's brothers and it's true that they have become um, physicians over the time dealing with ailments. Like, shit, the Lord puts you through something and then all of a sudden you know about the whole leg, you know about the joints in the leg, you know how to relax the muscle in the leg, all type of truth. And it says, um, of Ooh, such, it's like, and it says, my son, what verse you want, bro? Verse nine. Yeah. And it says, my son, in thy sickness, be not negligent, and pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee whole. And that's the most important part, bro. You, know, you take the herbs and stuff, you can't do I mean, you can take them, but you gotta, put, you know, pray, pray to the Lord about it, most importantly. Because the Lord heals. Yeah, hey. The Lord, he wounds, he heals, he kills, he makes a lot. Hey, Alexander the Great even taught you that. Like, not even the strongest physician can heal, can heal you. That's why he had all the physicians carry his coffee. To show that not even the best physicians can heal you. Because it was the Lord that had him go well, out at the age of uh, about 33, man. All right, and none of the strong physicians, no herbs, can heal you. Even had a king in Israel that, that trusted in the physicians. And the Lord was like, okay, go trust in that physician. That's going to be a doubt. Solomon chapter 15 and uh, I'll start at 12. It says, For if it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. Hey, it's all, it's Yahweh Basham at the end of the day that heals all things. All right. Like the brother uh, quoted earlier, man, he wounds, he heals, man. All right, you know, it, it's it's all Yahweh Basham at the end. Hey, you know? Can pray and the Lord could just heal you, or He could lead you to an herb. Okay, lead you to the herb that will help your help your your infirmities. Bro, I remember this this hard and burning and shit. And then I was crying to the Lord, Lord, oh no, I'm never gonna do that. You went wrong, huh? You went wrong. Well, nah. I bro, I won't talk about that on camera. Bro. But, but, <laughs> but, right, bro. Bro. I got some free bucks, but hey, you know. I want to talk about that. But, no, bro. Uh, the Lord added to it. I prayed to the Lord and I took a lot of um, garlic and that shit healed, bro. Like a couple days. I'm like, oh shit, what? That was
going to your meat and your drink. But why should you see your face? Faces worse likely than the children which are part of your sword. Then shall you make me in danger by head of the king. Then said Daniel to Kazar, the prince of the Jews, and said unto Daniel, and I am himself as I am, prove my servants and seize them ten days, and let them give us coats to eat and water to drink. And then let all the counsels be looked upon. Then let our counsels be looked upon to worthy, and the counsels of the children, and the portion of the kings be upon them. And as thou seest, deal with thy servants. So you have a day, it's kind of like a bed. You know, you eat the king's meat, which is probably a bunch of abominations. Oh, you know, yeah. You know, whatever. They kind of hype up meat now, you know? Yeah. Like people going on meat diet. I, I heard Joe like Rogan talking about diet. it. Yeah, huh? carnivore diet. Yeah, yeah carnivore like what the hell, man? Yeah. You know what's that? We eat nothing but meat, meat. And it's raw. So many uh, yeah. worms and shit, like you know what people going to have, bro? Yeah. yeah. And you're going to be straight acidic, bro. I got a live show that Apostle Ariane Vlog was uh, going in on this, man. You know, a lot of the king's diet had to do with a bunch of meat, carbs, and alcohol. That shit is lame. And, you know, that, that's the entire diet of America and shit, man. Right. You know, that, that's, that's what causes the inflammation at a late age, man. That's why you see our people all fucked up. Like, you know, I don't know. Jake don't live long, bro. Yeah. You know, you surprised Jake make it a 50, man. I remember my, my teacher, yeah, he, he, uh, he told us that at the average lifetime now it's like uh, 60, 70. Yeah. It's crazy, yeah. It's a lot shorter than it was before. So he consented to them, consented to them in this manner, and proved them 10 days. And at the end of 10 days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter with flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the meat. Had that pulse diet, which is vegetables, eat vegetables and water, and eat that for 10 days, so the common sense face, the skin was brighter. Yeah, yeah bro. Uh, ben, you're gonna get nutrients. Yeah. 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 Vitamins. Yeah. Life. You know, that green represents life. Greener, yeah. yeah. You know, that meat is. is I mean, it's cool to have it in, you know. Yeah, moder moderation. But you don't want it to be your whole diet. Right? The majority of this should be like greens, like you're saying. You know, you know that veggies. I mean, chicken is fire, you know, but yeah. you know, have it something, you know, have it with other things, you know. Yeah. I can't eat meat by itself. Yeah, guys, that's what's talking about that meat diet, that carnivore diet. I can't eat meat by itself. That's weird, though. That's the Esau, bro. Esau yeah, puts yeah. Put all type of shit these days, man. And people falling for it. Yeah, because it, it it comes from a, it comes from a rich man or wise man's mouth in their eyes. Yeah, it's just protein, protein, protein. Like, 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 uh, they'll tell you uh, about, oh, we gotta eat plants, right? You gotta be like, look at the, they will use the, uh, they'll use the ape as an example. Look at the ape. He eats plants, and look how strong he is. Of course. Well, no, but here's the thing, though. When you go to 1 Corinthians 15, you have two different flesh, okay? The way that, uh, the way that an ape eats, what he has in his organs is able, the plants that he eats right. that's able to break down into protein from We're not the same as an ape. Yeah. We, for that. we don't have that same ability where we can just eat straight plants or you know eat like a, a, a plant based diet and we're gonna be strong as an ox, strong as an ape. You know? You gotta mix, you gotta get your yeah, you gotta, get you gotta eat meat. It's a balance. Yeah, it's all about balance. All right. That's what I said, a balanced diet. Like you need you need carbohydrates and Calories, fats, proteins, meat good acids. fats. Yeah, you need yeah. all that. It's like the one thing that your body can do without when you just stop eating it is sugar. You know, that's and that will benefit you. See, but then you can eat fruits, which has that natural sugar. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's good sugars, bad sugars. There's good fats, bad fats, good bacteria, bad bacteria, yeah. Pro probiotics. Yeah. Yeah. For your gut, right? Your gut, yeah, you need that bacteria in there. They say your gut is your second brain. Yeah. You know, so it's what breaks everything down. Yeah, it's all about being balanced. You know? But if you do want to do like a diet like that, you know, like 10 days of just eating vegetables or you juice, you want to juice fast, that's all good, man. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Three days, just smoothies. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah. And you get
Get more yeah. juice. I need to get another juice, man. Get back on that juice. Get you a, uh, uh, get you a Omega, bro. That's Omega? Get you a Omega, bro. That's yeah. it. Jake, you want a 30 day juice back. I do a skinny as a, a skeleton. Not me. Well, he probably already was skinny. Bro. Yeah, but he, that, that, that bass made him more skinny. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't see nothing wrong with skinny, man. Hey, when you make the juices, you can put, when I did, I put all the herbs that yeah, I needed in there. Make one of skinny. Ultimate smoothie. Like, fruit still. Man, frozen fruit. It's all about balance, man. You know, in the Passover, man, you, you eat the lamb, man. You know, hey, man, you know, meat, you know, there's nothing wrong with that either, man. Yeah, and your bones will be brittle, too. And certain things in your body will break down because yeah. the protein from the meat. That vitamin B12, yeah, I think uh, you guys need to take that vitamin B12 as supplements. All right, because you're not receiving it, yeah, yeah. from the meat. Think about what he saw when he had that when he went for the potties, the stews. You got everything you needed there. Potatoes, carrots, vegetables, and your meat, that base, that protein. Yeah. They're all yeah. You know what I mean? When you boil it, you get rid of a lot of the fats. Judges what happens to you, you know, on this life, right. on the next, or it's like the past on this life, you know? Yeah. He says, leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh by Shimei Shai lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Yeah, that's what we want, man, to be delivered, man. You know, that starts off with acknowledging that you're doing wrong and to do better, you know, onwards, man. You know, in, in all past and all happens. Brothers, you know, are they into them? All right. Yeah, keep going. Verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of the great multitude is given over you. They should take away certain of you, and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And so we quoted earlier how, uh, knowing, you know, he had but a short time, man. You know, he's going to come out of people like a flood, man. All right, you know, he, and he's going to want to. At the end of the day, man, to uh, implement that device, you know, as a whole world, man. All right? But he's not going to succeed, man. It it says, it up, man. Yeah. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in, a, in reproach and trodden underfoot. So those of you who take that implant, man, you know, you're going to be left defenseless, man. All right? You know, hey, man, without the help of the Lord, man. All right? Because you accepted the so-called white man as your God. Alright. It says, For there shall be in every place in the city the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And you know that's who he's coming to to attack, ultimately uh the uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know that that's that's who it's made you know mainly for, man. Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble, yeah. The day of Jacob's trouble. Alright, those those are the main characters. Alright? Those who, who are going to get punished. Okay. It says, They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying.
destroying those that fear the Lord. And there's going to be no mercy shown, man. Hey, because the, the Lord, man, you know, uh, like, like it says in Job, man, nobody perished being innocent. Man. All right? It's all going to be judgment, like we were saying in the beginning. It's all judgment from the Lord. Right? All right? He's using those, you know, these heathens, man, the so-called white man as, as a weapon. All right? To punish our people. It says, But they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen? Hey, that is good. And they should be tried as gold in the fire. Yeah, so like it says in Zechariah, man, the one third are going to be tried. You know, and, you know, into the fire, man. All right, but at the same time, hey, the Lord is going to, you know, help and defend, you know, his men and their families. All right, you know, age. Hey, he's going to make sure they're protected. His chosen. It says, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear, O oh, ye, my beloved, said the Lord. For all the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for your how about Shimei Shah is your guide. Hey, so don't be afraid. Don't second guess. Don't doubt, man. Hey, the scriptures speak about how like we're going to be pilgrims upon the earth, man. Hey, we're going to be guided by the spirit of your about Shimei Shah, man, to see what moves we make. All right? So we're not going to be walking blindly like everyone else, man, who ended up taking that thing, man. No, hey, man, we're hoping to be saved out of here, man, not, not destroyed. She says, And the God of them who keep my commandments, the precepts, says the Lord, you how much you know, shine. Let not your sins weigh you down. Let not your iniquities lift up themselves. And so, yeah, at the times of wrath, man, remember that the Lord, man, he's a merciful power. All right? Remember to continue to do everything you can, knowing your power to overcome them. All right? All right? All right. So, with that, hey, Lord's love, you brothers, we're edified. So, again, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Ba'ashim, Brock the Owl, 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 Brock the